Ding is my bicycle. Hello, internet. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a glimpse of one of the first pictures you sent me. Look at this. Vote for Team Creed and I will banish this mare to the moon. <laughs> Anyways, hello, internet. <clears throat> Yes, we are back once again from Old Island Wake. We just did it yesterday, but we wanted to keep going. Yes, and hopefully anybody who's watching has and uh, who partook in her oh wait, you're live. Um, in uh, Halloween shenanigans. Hope you all had a good time. We surprisingly got no oh. trick or treaters, none at all, which I'm a, I'm a little disappointed about. But we had a nice time. Regardless. Yeah, we were hanging, you know, we had some good food, we were hanging out, we got some popcorn, we watched some Quantum Leap, well, we watched the Halloween episode, and then we watched the one with the ghost. Together on the case board. <laughs> oh. Mm. And then we had to go to bed early, like, nor like boring people, because Angel yeah. woke up early this morning. Close this damn case. Mm. Before my family gets dragged any further into yeah, it. Yeah, really. I have a bad feeling that Alan's not going to be there then if we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, you wanted to like investigate a couple things. I think you... Um... Yeah, I wanted to go for the stashes and uh -huh. the long locked box. Mm-hmm. Because uh... you have a... Um, you have a screwdriver now. Yeah. Yes, and the flooding has also now receded mm -hmm. because we have completed the mm -hmm. main objective. Yes, oh. and we cleared oh. the overlap. Come on, Casey. Oh! Okay. No answer. Ah, damn it. David. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello? Hey, this is David. Leave a message. Damn it. David. Can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? No, no. Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has well, the story already gotten her? We should know. Don't forget to use the generator's bucket to alternate between characters. Yes, and I will be doing that. Mm. After I wander around a little bit. As he does. Yep, as I do. Baby shark do 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 do. Oh go. my god. I should look around. See where the water was hiding. Mm-hmm. Well, first off, it looks like there's another gate that I can't open because mm. I need... <laughs> if only you could use the, um... If only you could use the clicker to open up that lock. That would be pretty funny. Yeah. But I'm guessing I'm gonna need like bolt cutters or something, which oh. I'll probably have to deal with later. Oh, well, this I can open. Damn, she's good at that. Hmm. Yeah. Probably needed to to practice like, getting we, it to various places. Before you leave, can we look at the calendar on the fridge? Because I think there was a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Megan. From James Johnson to Megan Johnson, just let me know you're okay, please. I miss you. You don't. I don't need to know where you are. Just that you're okay. Just reply to me. You owe me that much. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Um, hey, I moved the keys somewhere. The flooding can't wash them away. This spot may be a bit hard to reach, but I'm sure you can get your hands on them just fine. And Mr. Skarsgård. Ah. Um, thanks for your proposal. Starlight Symphony sounds like a wonderful project and a very creative idea. Uh oh. However, our publishing house will unfortunately have to decline at this time. We wish you all the best in the future. Keep dreaming. For best regards, William Portman. <laughs> Sorry. Seeing mm -hmm. the names Portman and Skarsgård in the same email does make me giggle. Because mm -hmm. they were both characters from... The, those are both actors who work together in the, um... Yeah. Thor movie. <laughs> Look at those birds. Um. Oh yeah. Wait, like, like the bird shaped. I don't. I don't. I don't they like bird shaped statues. I think. Yeah. No, don't shoot the bird statues. I'm trying to zoom in. Your your hunting skills would be very very poor if you. The were. only way I can zoom in is to aim the gun. So. I know. I don't exactly want to put the gun away. I mean that is fair. I get that, but you gotta admit it is a little funny. It is. Okay, there was just 
the ammo in the drawer, I guess. Uh-huh. Another cult box. Whoever whoever um owns this trailer is gonna come in and be like, What the hell? My door is wide open and the only thing that's missing is the ammo. They're gonna be mm-hmm. so confused. Okay, so so that was the note about the key. Uh. They move the key somewhere the flooding won't get it. it. Could be in there. Could be in one of the houses. Let's see. Must be locked from the other side. Yep. Can't screwdriver or doorknob. Oh. Oh, Pat. I can't tell if it's just the 13 years that have passed between the games, or it's like something actually is going on with him. I don't know. Ooh, Starlight Symphony. Hair covering logo. Does hair do this in space? <laughs> what is Rocket connected to? Move foot for Bella's silhouette. Um, in space, no one can hear you sing. Make text big. Maybe more eye-catching font choice. Comic book story idea. A literal space opera. A sci-fi musical with an alien love triangle. Murder mystery. Aliens meets rear window. Sunshine meets the sound of music. Musical parts drawn in black and white. Negative colors. Singing is rhyming. Um, rhythm is visual. Break the fourth wall. Go all out. This is going to be my best work yet. There we go. Good job, buddy. We got there eventually. I mean, if he was in his 60s, if he was like in his 60s and 13 years have passed, he could be in his 70s or even 80s by this point. It, yeah. But something, but even still, that may explain only some of what's going on. It may explain him fumbling around with the radio buttons. Yes. But I don't really think it's going to explain um, the whole thing with the Wendy Davis and the Davis family beef jerky. I mean, he has to get the sponsorship from somewhere. Yeah. <clears throat> and he's got the beef jerky from somewhere. Yeah, he wouldn't just be able to summon the beef jerky out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Unless he was seeing Wendy Davis as a taken before she was, like, you know, caught by the cult and. I mean, that, it, I would, I could kind of go with there, but when's the last time you saw a Taken do anything with beef jerky? That's fair. But they all get, they all get very, very murdery, very, very quickly. Oh look. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just remembering now Resident Evil um, Eight when I had to get the car jack to, to crawl under the trailer. <laughs> or the tractor, sorry, the tractor. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Oh, hello. Bear doll. Oh, I thought it was a salt shaker. <laughs> I'm guessing that means that there's probably a nursery rhyme somewhere nearby. Probably. At the very least, I can use it for another one. Oh, there's something on that. Oh, there's another doll. Child doll. Well, you did get a mother one in the last time. Hello. I have to admit, it's pretty lucky that all this stuff stayed just by all the flooding. Like, this yeah. stuff is perched on the very edge. And on the post side, we found the boat we can use later if we need to. Ooh! Oh, and somehow this mysteriously did not get drawn away. Well, if it can change reality, it's not going to be affected by water. It can never know. Yeah. Old fisherman had great luck. He ca- his catch at sea was beyond belief, but the hungry guest found relief in the fisherman's bountiful truck. Oh, yeah, very nice, very nice. Now let's see who's about to come and murder you now. Oh, fish. Oh, no. Uh Uh-oh. Are there taking fish now? No, 
But what eats fish? Oh, good lord. This is gonna be so much worse than the taken. Shut up! I wonder if that dark thing on their chest it actually shows that the um the darkness can you know recover itself. Maybe. Whoa! Oh. It is still really creepy to me that they are no longer like that they actually bleed and stuff like that. Like, good lord. Back off! Ow, what? Oh! There you go, there you go. Ow! Oh, no! Death! Whew, okay. This is not how the story goes. Yeah, thanks, Alan. <laughs> well, at least... Okay. Well, we haven't found a... Uh, no, we haven't found a taken bear yet. That being said, though, I'm not sure exactly the taken humans are really all that better. Oh. I think he almost said, you will eat your mind, and I don't like that. Whoa! Ah, whoa! Good dodging, good dodging. Alright. Okay, where's the other guy? There you are. Yep. Oh, God. There's your charm. <laughs> Please clean up after yourself. <laughs> so I got, okay, leaves two. The craziest quality and quantity of resources found. Oh, my God, yes. Oh, God, one more. Ah! Apparently, the resources may also include taken. Be careful. Yes, I got a charm. <laughs> I understand mm. you did get distracted, but still. Okay, max health I want. Resilience against being staggered. Mm -hmm. Health restored and safe havens. Oh. I'll swap out the stagger for now. Okay. It's <sighs> finding more resources is always good. Yeah, especially better ones, too. Yeah, and I still haven't found the key for the uh, stash, but they said they were going to move it somewhere where the flooding couldn't get it. So it's probably up higher. Yes. I don't think it's going to be in the Anderson trailer. It would be really ironic if it was, I feel. Look, granted, uh, Tor and Odin were apparently buddy buddy with them, so what the hell do I know? Yeah. Well, we can see, but for now, I, th I think that... Well, I'm going to have to come back anyway to open up those things, so mm -hmm. I'm going to actually head back through Coffee World. Okay. Because there is also this area up here that may have been flooding, and they may have hidden a key in the ranger cabin. Yeah. Yep, then I'll make my way back through the forest, hopefully quickly without monsters, to open this container that needed a screwdriver. Then I will open this final stash here, and then swap over to Alan. All right, and... We'll figure out where on earth we go because we yeah. have no idea. We don't know if it's going to be anything in the present day or if it's going to be in the dark world or what. It's going to yeah. be very... No, I, I'm, I will say I am very suspicious by the fact that apparently um, Casey is no longer picking up his phone. Yeah. Just, you know, that, that makes me suspicious instinctively. I know. And it wouldn't be as simple if just going back to... Oh, well, hello. Two gas canisters. Okay. Thank you, Charm. Thank you, Bear Charm. Is it the Bear Charm that you have on your bracelet right, right now? Coffee World, World token, token Charm. Charm. Okay. Thank you, Coffee World Token Charm. The question is, were those there before and I just didn't notice? Or did this charm actually, like, spontaneously make them appear? Because <laughs> Spon that would be hilarious. <laughs> spontaneous uh, appearing gas canisters is just a step below spontaneous combustion, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, apparently you were waiting for me. Hello. <laughs> Ready, waiting for your murder. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Hello, sir. Oh, oh, oh my god. Back off. Oh god. Oh, what? Saga. What on earth is. Oh, 
Ow. Woo! Oh, no, 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 He's very eager. This is this is very eager taking right here. The fastest talking taken I think I've ever heard. Drives another child. Whether I need it or not. It's like all right, brother. Calm down. He's he's had too much coffee. Good job, Saga. Oh, they all drop little boxes now that have some resources in it. Oh, is that awesome? Yes. Thank you, Coffee World Charm. Yes, thank you. Like seriously, thank you. That that's gonna make that's gonna make it much less problematic, I guess, to go back and explore old areas. Mm -hmm. Because it, it seems like, unlike in the original Alan Wake, where, you know, there's only, you know, there's only so much resources, though they are much more abundant in that game, it yeah. seems like there's much fewer resources in this game in comparison. Yeah. Which, you know, does kind of fit the whole survival horror feel, but... I feel like you also, too, don't have the same, like, with Alan, he could only carry so much ammo, so many flares. I feel like you don't necessarily have those same limits here. Yeah, it's just inventory space. That's fair. Saga's coat does look like it would have bigger pockets. Yes, and she is finding the um, occasional inventory space increasers. Yes. Sort of like Ethan finding the backpacks. And putting the other backpack on. <laughs> Hello, Lauren, Lauren uh, Brunch? Uh, Brunch, yeah, oh. hello. Hello. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Uh, Happy Wednesday. Or, or, as they would say, guess what day it is. Guess what day it is. Oh, the flooding is gone over here. Very nice, very nice. It's hump day. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Lauren Perch. Perch. Sorry about that. Thank you for clarifying. Yes, yes. my apologies. Me and names and pronunciation... <laughs> Don't always get along so well. That is, that is very fair. He didn't remember my name for a few days when we first met. <laughs> and, <laughs> and let's not forget how I used to pronounce Hyrule Hi Hylia. Oh my god, yes. Oh god, no, 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 no. Oh no, no. no. did we find a dog? A oh no. Oh, oh, we found several dogs. Hello, boys. Oh god, I hate how quickly they move. In the house, in the house, or yeah. maybe not. I think they're guarding the house. Really? What was your first clue? I don't know. They didn't, I mean, you know. Well, I don't know if guarding is the right oh, word. Darn it. They're not exactly domesticated, even before they were taken. There's no collars or anything. All right. <laughs> Screwdriver or cabin door. Let's go. Get inside. Get inside. Get inside. Go. Oh, okay. Shut the door. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Oh, look. A box. Ammo and med, med, med pack. There you go. Huh. Poor girl see, keeps it, keeps seems to keep getting injured in the same spot. What is it? Okay. I thought they were really, really weird symbols on the rug, but I think they're just leaves. That, that's nice. I, you never know. Every, <laughs> everyone here is apparently part of the cult. What the hell? You never know. Oh, look, a deer you can pet. <laughs> she should turn. I honestly, oh. it's so dark you can't even see it. I'm waiting for it to just like come to life and try to eat her head. I'm guessing that one of them will at some point. Just I, I am looking forward to whatever like achieving you get for petting all those guys. Who oh, likes medicine? I think. Yes. You're a couple. Yes, we are a couple. We are. Um, we are fancies. Yes, we are engaged is, for a few years. Is that actually... I wonder if that's actually a term, fiancés. Fiancé! <laughs> I mean, like, you know, like, you have, like, boyfriend and girlfriend, and you have husband and wife, and it's like, do you have, like, or spouses? Like, do you have fiancés? Oh. Pre-spouses? I don't know, but yes, we are engaged. <laughs> okay, I heard creepy noises up here, so... Of course there's creepy. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very uh, much. Do, 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 oh, yes, yeah, creepy do, do, noises. Do, do, do. What do you do? Take a bath. What's Ooh. this? It's a, ooh, it's a thing. 
Oh, well, yes. Oh, experiment PFNR23, codename Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Lord. Test results are notifications. Creating the perfect environment for each test case has become the crux of my study. However, I am certain that setting the stage in a sufficiently convincing manner will make the fiction come to existence. I am now going to use propping in a way a set designer of a feature film would, making the cabin seem like the actual house that the character is depicted in the rhyme with a small personal touches and realistic items in addition to a few key items such as the drawings, dolls, and personal letters used so far. The early results have been promising but incomplete. I will continue with the propping in a controlled manner until it reaches a functional state. It's crucial to gain traction with this. The dimensional opening I'm attempting will man to manifest in this very location will be a groundbreaking achievement worthy of my genius. That sounds like something from the FBC, but also like Hartman somehow. Yeah, it really and, does sound like Hartman, yes. And we've been streaming for almost nine months? So. Uh, we started in mid-February. Yeah. Like mid I, early to mid-February. I think so, yeah. So, hang on. Hang on, I'm mathing. Oh lord. Uh, yeah, I'd say about nine and a half months. Assuming mm -hmm. my math is correct, you never know. <clears throat> yeah. 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 What about you? Do you do any streaming or do you just pop on Twitch to hang and watch? What are we. What are we. Yeah. Woo! Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's just discussing that. Oh, right, I have a whole bunch of figures now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's a good thing these offices in her mind palace are so are so big. I wonder if she actually... Yeah. I wonder if, like, uh, like as she gets more and more clues, if she needs to, she, like, gradually expands the wall. <laughs> that would be a little funny if she did. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. It was always this big. Pay no attention, even though the only person she would have to is us. Hmm. We just don't really feel comfortable at the moment using the, um, like, FaceTime. Yeah, it's probably something that we would do in the, um, in the future, but for now we're more comfortable just staying audio and yeah. look, hello. Well, that's kind of cute. Oh, this must be part of what he was talking yeah. about with the, uh, look, setting up the rhymes. Look on the, look on that picture on the wall. <laughs> well, that's one way to showcase Beauty and the Beast, hello. You know what I just love, too, is that someone had to pose for that picture. Like, I understand it's probably, like, you know, like a like a, like a a bear statue or something, but someone got dressed up in a wedding-style-like dress and like, oh, yes, I'm going to pose next to this bear as though he is my husband and let somebody take a picture and then frame that picture and put it on the wall. <laughs> Not only that, too, but that looks like a real-life person, which would kind of fit with the way, you know, that these... Games will use live action to capture like TV interviews and and mm. stuff. So it's like, okay, <laughs> somebody did that in real life. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. There's the dog. <laughs> okay, I think it's dead. God, I would hope so. Poor thing never knew what hit it, which is probably for the best. Oh, mm -hmm. hello. Ammo! Yay! Oh, actually, I just realized we've been finding a, a few empty boxes just sort of lying around. Yeah. Um, I, ma I imagine that now they may actually have ammo and stuff inside them. Oh. Uh, oh, there. Sorry, I'm just I'm checking around to make sure there's none. A third wolf. Yeah, you never know. Like the uh, way the Taken were literally falling on you from above. Hello! Let's see what this is. <clears throat> A young woman, eager and smart, ventured into the be the woods, the beast's lair. The king of the forest stole her heart, and now together they now live without a care. Excuse me. Maven doll. Oh god, you have to put the bear. Yep. Maybe you have to put the bear there. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Strange reality. Yeah. No kidding. Saw oh. five no sooner. All right, brace for impact. More people may stab, might come to stab you, or th or axe you. Oh, oh. Well, the, yeah. Well, there's definitely dark slime in here. So. Oh lord, you're gonna have to fight. Taken inside a house. That's gonna be a little different. 
It's gonna be very cramped. Oh, look, they knocked the books off the end table. Yeah. I have such a bad feeling about this. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, okay. I can use this charm on my bracelet. Yes, that's the important part here. I understand it is very important, but please. Oh, FPC charm. Increases uh -huh. damage dealt while undetected by enemies. Okay, that that might be helpful, but at the same time, I really do, um, usually the enemies see me first. That is fair. But, but but that does kind of confirm that this must have been an FBC um, testing site because they will frequently go out and you know test different things, and the nursery rhymes is definitely part of the like nurse um, as part of the rituals, which yeah. is something that is very it, it's confirmed very much to be related to. Um, how some of the paranormal things happen, mm -hmm. like when trend, like when going through the um, Ocean View Hotel and Control. Every time you went in there, you had to perform like a series of rituals to find the light switch. Yeah. But every time, it was something completely different. Like one time, you had to find a way to flush a giant clog from one of the rooms. Another time, like you had to move certain items in the room to all to make all the rooms exactly the same which would mm -hmm. give you the key to open another room yes. and uh, and i think another time you you had to like or actually i don't remember much of the others but i do know that oh hello oh yeah. he's got a mask and yeah. an axe yes <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but i do also know that Additionally, um, every time you like ring the doorbell or the um, the front bell, a different door will open. Okay. Uh, we're from Pennsylvania. Yes, yes, we are. Yes, we are on the East Coast. Um, yeah. Yep. So we are currently enjoying some chilly weather right now. <laughs> it's very spicy outside. As Pie Master likes to say. Well, it's my fault for putting that pot of chili outside to cool one night. I, well, yeah, um, it could have been worse. You could have put out a bunch of mugs. I have to feel like, oh, ah, nice. Jersey. How nice. Hey, nice. We're neighbors. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> okay. I have to, a very muggy November would be a little awkward. Yes, it would. We. All right. Good luck. You're running back through the forest, I imagine. Yeah, I'm going for that one box that we need the screwdriver to open. Into the woods without the way. Be careful not to lose your way. I would do like one of my little parody songs, but I actually don't know that song well enough to I, to keep going. I didn't even know that was a song. Yeah, like Into the Woods is a musical that takes a bunch of um, it's sort of like a com a combination of like classic fairy tales. I think Cinderella, Little Red Riding Hood. Maybe Rapunzel, and they actually like it's like a bunch of different stories all taking place together, and the woods is like the central location for everything. Ah, I'm I'm just remembering this video I saw where they were they were singing. It was like I think I think it was like AFV, like America's Funniest Home Videos. They yes. were doing um, over the river and through the woods. But when it got to the grandmother's house, we go. A person like it's like the middle of winter. A person goes is sledding and they go flying off like a little bump and go flying and end up with, with like just their feet sticking out of the snuff. So it's like over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house like go oh, 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 bonk. <laughs> well that could work because you know there have been not there is a lot of uh, water here so you could say over the river and through the woods back to Bright Falls we go. <laughs> Eventually I'm sure. Yes, eventually. Mm -hmm. Right now we're going to open this, go back to town, and hopefully open the other safe. Mm. Cult box? Yeah, cult box, sorry. Woo! And Yeah, and then after that, wow, lots of stuff in there. Mm -hmm. After that, we are going to head um, to Alan's story because there is a mop bucket in a nearby um, <laughs> safe room. I know where you were going with that sentence, but there's gotta be some that there is something a little funny like, oh yes, we will go over to Alan's story because there is a mop bucket. Like that's a sentence. <laughs> that is that is a very unique sentence, my friend. Where'd it go? There we go. Oh I think you uh 
I think you got it with... I think, like, the one explosion hit the other explosion. So I think yeah. you got two hitboxes there. He's just over there yelling at a tree. <laughs> he's going to the tree and he's and he's calling it a Taurus. <laughs> yeah, well, the, yeah, well, this Taurus got this Taurus shot you in the face with a crossbow. So no, shut you're, up. You're not the Taurus. The tree is the Taurus. Uh, I know. The only to the only tree I have ever known being a Taurus is technically Groot. Um, do we play horror games a lot? We we have been recently because of. Um, Halloween and such, mm -hmm. but we do we do have a lot of interest. Like we like Legend of Zelda. We do want to play Mario Wonder yeah. after we get done Alan Wake and Soma, which mm -hmm. we didn't have a chance to finish because Alan uh, Wake. <laughs> we um, were very very excited. Yes, about Alan Wake too. We both it really we both really enjoy the um, original Alan Wake, so mm -hmm. we were really excited for the sequel to come out. So No, we did not try the Texas Chainsaw game. I do know that was a game, because we actually saw a content creator we like on YouTube playing it with some of his friends, but that's not a game that we've um, gone for. We I think most of, the, most of the horror games we've done have been Resident Evil. Yes, there, most of them are sort of like survival horror, like Resident Evil and such. Yeah, we did Resident Evil 4... Um, remake, the Resident Evil 2 remake, RE7, and RE8. Yes, lots of the RE games. Yeah, and we also did at least some of the, we did some of the DLCs for those ones, yeah. too. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 is great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, guys! Oh, God! <laughs> hey, man! Okay, I was, I was afraid for a second because it looked like they were T-posing. For dominance? Maybe. Yeah, really. Yeah. Also, thank you for following Lauren. Lauren thank yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for coming in. We hope to see uh, some more of you. Yeah. It sounded a little bit weirder in my head than I meant it to say. I'm sorry, yeah, but okay. we, that lady, are you? Oh yeah. wait a minute, that was the lady who was feeling for the rain earlier. What happened? She looks like she dropped something or is about to throw up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, this this was completely flooded earlier. Yeah, it was, and now there's someone hanging out down there. Hey, man. Well, oh, there's two people. At least the flooding has gone down. Those aren't the bookers, are they? The fish aren't no. fighting any better. Oh. Mm. Hello, Amelia. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> We're doing fine. How you doing? This is... And thank you for following. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, we're getting some company. Oh. I am also doing great. Very nice. Okay. Box. Okay, uh, what's this creepy lockbox puzzle? Uh, this... That one... Ca that... Blah, 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 blah. That oh. car one was too easy. Thank you. Uh, there are three... Here's mine. There are three batteries. B1, B2, B3, which have a combined charge of 16,000 amps. Excuse me, B... B2 has 128 amps. Thank you. More than B3. B1 has two times as much charge as B3. How many amps does B2 have? Um, Why are we doing math? Oh, good lord. Oh, no. <laughs> I was about to say... I was about to say, wait a minute, doesn't it have two... Like, one eight, like 128, but I was like, wait, no, 128 more than that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you... Oh, lord. Oh, good lord. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Uh, I feel like I should get a piece of paper and try and write it down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we might need to, so... <laughs> Do we, mm. Here's the thing. Do we want to try and actually math this, or do we want to just look it up? I don't know. Let me here. Let me turn on the light over here. I'll get a piece of paper and see if I can at least write it down in a way that makes sense. Yeah. Because, ah, where is the light switch? Okay, there we go. 
my own clicker. Why is there such a why is there such a difficult math problem in this? I know, I know. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, okay. Just watch the answer. It's actually really, really easy, and we're just having dumb moments. You don't surprise me. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, okay. So, okay. Yeah, you, you think on that. Um, Amelia, um, no thank you at the moment. We will keep you in mind if we decide later, but at the moment we do not need any graphic design. But we do okay. hope that you enjoy the stream regardless. Okay. <laughs> so, B1 equals 2, 2 mm -hmm. times B3, B2 equals B3 plus 128. Okay, so we have 2X B. Three plus <laughs> B three plus one twenty eight plus B three equals sixteen hundred. Oh dear, I don't uh, think this is working anymore for me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, just look this one up. It's too difficult. And maybe a bit, maybe a bit later. Um, we're I'm really kind of busy at the moment, Amelia, because I'm preparing for a trip out of state over like the next week. So I, mm. I have a lot of stuff to do like every day to get ready for that. So maybe at a later point once the trip is over. Right, where are we? We are in Watery. Okay, Alan Wake. No, not Alan Sake. Alan Wake. <laughs> no, no, stop. Stop, thank you. Dear Lord, my fingers are not that big. Okay. Alan Wake <laughs> 2 Watery Cult Box. Cult Stash Puzzle. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. This may be good. This may be good. Okay, hang on, hang on. Cauldron. No, I don't <laughs> want the cauldron like ones. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> don't mind us, guys. We're just going to be, like, staring at the um thing for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Nah, damn it. Uh, Only striped coast, we got that one. What's behind the smile? Yes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, it did not, it just did not give me. Okay, good lord. Here, go and do like something. Go and do something a bit better than this while I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, hold on one sec. I just need to check my Discord for a moment. There might be if there's someone new who has joined. So, and I'm going to give them a roll so that way. You know, they can make a sandwich. So that way they can, you know, <laughs> talk around. <laughs> Yes, for anyone who does not know, I do have a Discord if you're interested. Why are you giggling that over there? I give them a roll so they can make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised that slipped by you. Okay, alright, hang on, we got this. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. <laughs> oh, this is, yeah, okay, alright, we got this. You could, if that if that doesn't work, maybe try Alan Wake to um, car puzzle. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, oh yes. And yes, Amelia, oh. yeah, I will t I will try to take a look when I have a chance because I just got the notification on Discord. Ooh. In the meantime, we're going to spin. We're going to run in a circle. Try six nine seven. Very small set. Very small circle. Mm hmm. Six nine seven. Yeah, just give it a try. I don't know if that'll work or not, but no. no. Okay, then I'm looking at the wrong one. God damn. No, stop it. No, stop it. Stop. Stop. Sorry. Sorry, guys. We're doing good. We are doing good. Dragon Primal, I have come and I have. A... Oh, hello, Dragon. Drive the worst drunk Russian Canadian Scottish lollipop sucking, kicking, loving, magical sausage creating maggots. 
Are you good? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the joke from you. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. Um, four, nine, six. I'm much more certain about that one. Yes. Yay! Yeah, see, we totally solved that math problem. Ah! Why do I have to take a effing math test to open a stash? What if I need to get in fast? I can't do math in my head. I'm not uh, Ada effing Lovelace. I missed dinner getting this thing open. It was a family pizza night! And also, too, I'm looking at the math actually written out here. I'm like, oh, that's nice. I, the way I wrote it, this looks a lot less complicated in this solution than it did on that. So I'm like, okay. Because <laughs> you know what? Like, the 2x is like, oh, yes, you know, you basically, it's like 4x equals um, 16,000 minus 128. I'm like, oh, okay, that, that's nice. Yeah, all right, let's get back to the actual horror action now. We apologize for that brief delay. Yes. Oh, Otsuya is no longer singing. Oh, bye-bye. Yes, we yes we can get back to the actual horror, not the uh, oh crap I forgot my algebra school horror. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What if that's the reason they put the math question in the game? Is because what do because what are what are high schoolers and middle schoolers afraid of most? Math class. Bum bum bum. Come here, I'm the potassium. Damn, there I got go. it with a pillow. Yes, the potassium pillow. Oh, good lord in heaven. Am I wrong? I will not for... Well, you... Maybe... Like, maybe not. Like, I think it's, like, a quintessential thing about, like, oh, you know, math class is horrible. But in real... But in reality, I'm like, you know, people like... Like, enough people like math. I mean, like, for me, math yeah. class wasn't wasn't too bad. I did better in math than I did, like... I was never really good with history. I think history was the one I struggled oh, with. Oh, I always, I always did really well in history, but I, I, have, I kind of do, did enjoy it a lot. All right, let's go see what Alan's doing. Time to switch reality because it's not unstable enough, apparently. The math wasn't, math to me just was less interesting than the others, so I did okay oh, with it. Oh, we're going down the darkness toilet. Panic. So much water imagery. I guess that's not surprising. A toilet imagery got things in there. Wee! Morning, sunshine. Oh, oh we're back in, in the dark, dark place. place. I was back. Uh oh. I wasn't able to escape. Uh oh. A dark presence had stopped me. Was this before? How though? But is this is before or after he woke up on the lake shore. That's a good point. <laughs> point of interest you. cases: track objectives and information in the saga. Okay. Return. Okay. Return. Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, because even once you leave the dark place, it doesn't leave you alone. Oh, stop. Stop with the jump here. Never. Oh, one of them, he looked like he was crawling on the ground like animal. Uh, did you see that? Yeah. Morning, sunshine. Are you good? Oh, did you see? He, he touched at the front of his face. Yeah. As though he was expecting to be sh expecting to be shot yeah. Yeah. I was back and I hadn't forgotten I knew how this worked now I could take control no more surprises okay together with our houseman the divine old god of our world we have created something very special the song is called Herald of Darkness but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake the musical. Because of course they make it a musical. Oh, good lord. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it. Okay, this looks like this is gonna be so funny. <laughs> this is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> the two are not mutually exclusive. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Look at the face. Look at the face. Okay, I think we're about to get a live action segment. Hey, man. Hmm. Oh, maybe not. Um, that's creepy. Okay, this it's gonna creepy. it's gonna jump scare. It's gonna be Mr. Scratch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. You grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories and your own made up fury. And mama gave me a magic clicker. Well, yes, I think it's true and fair to say. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, oh my god, forget the picture with the bear. There's some people got together and 
they did this? <laughs> and you know, it's gonna get even funnier. I have a fun fact to tell you that you may not know. Um, wait. I'm gonna wait until this is over. So much for being in control, huh, Alan? Yeah. Oh my god, it's like a little childhood bed with a little... Oh, they look younger! They look yeah. a lot younger! This is like them in their... This yeah. is like them in their prime. This is probably what they looked like in the 70s. Yep. Yeah. This is so out of left field, I don't even know how to react. <laughs> 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 We're going through the forest. Oh my god. <laughs> so you would draw onto stories early on. My dreams would light up my imagination. And you had nightmares <laughs> night and day. Yeah, but with the clicker, I chased those frights away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at him. He's, I, he's, he's nervous. Oh, you know what? I think this is him after he woke up on the night shore. I just realized something. Yeah. His hair is shorter and he has less. Yeah. He has less of a beard. That's how he looked like when Saga, like that yeah. after Saga got, came up. I, I don't know either! We don't know what's going on! Can we just appreciate the amount of people who are like, you know what, you know what my surreal, cerebral, like, horror game sequel needs? A musical! The cringiest musical I think I've ever seen! They're <laughs> into it though! And it is really good, like, it's It's fun. a great song, and it's, it's fun! It's <laughs> But they're like, so... The fact that they are so into it, is actually what makes it funny. It is yeah. such, you know, like, oh yes, the the clicker. I put the night day like swatting at the invisible dreams, and like that just makes it. He looks so funny. It's not like a music video. It's just like, oh god. <laughs> if you're a director, this is definitely a nightmare for you. <laughs> I know, I know. There's too much. <laughs> There's too much going on. There's no like the. It's hard to find the central focus part. Okay, I think Al. I think Alan himself is just like I have officially lost the plot. Okay. That was out of. That was so out of left field. I just. Okay, I have to admit that was pretty creepy. Uh, this is work. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you get the little angel limb. Stories of crime and chilling thrillers of hard-boiled killers became bestsellers. It was all too much. I had to get away. The stress of becoming yeah. so famous. Uh oh. Something tells me this is gonna take a turn into like across the line twice if he gets into the creepy spot. Oh, look at all the shadowy people here watching. Yeah. One of those things where it was so funny near the beginning, but now I think we're gonna get into the more of the serious dramatic stuff that's still going on for him, and it's gonna be like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll take some of that too, please. That's, this stuff is amazing. Too, that you just go up and there's this tiny little TV set and then Alan could just step in there like, okay, I think I have officially lost the plot. Oh. Oh, cool. That's not what I was expecting would happen. Well, I did grab the light. I was thinking actually that you were going to shut the whole thing down. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I imagine it wouldn't be that simple. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yikes. Barely see where I'm going. Yeah. And I don't there have a go. flashlight. Hey, man. 
the phone booth. Do you have a backstage pass? <laughs> there are no dark stage backstage classes in the dark place. The stage is following him. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, it's getting to like the whole like. Paparazzi was getting him. Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you remember what Barry said that he got into a fight with the paparazzi? Yeah. At one point, and now it's just like that was one time. That was one freaking time. And now you're outside. There is a taxi in here. I, I know, and there's something I'm supposed to be able to do with a light, but I can't access. Is there a? Oh, there's there's something up there. Maybe I need to find a ladder. Okay. One of those things where, like, it seems like um, either there's a phone booth and a taxi cab inside this stage area, or the um, song and the concert and the musical has followed him outside. Uh huh. And yeah, it's a little hard to tell which one is which, really. Yeah, I can't tell where I'm supposed to go. Come on. Oh, is that it? No. Oh, maybe... Oh, oh, maybe these ones? Ah, damn it. Oh! No. Damn. Hmm. Okay, let's follow this arrow, see if uh, it takes me anywhere. Yes, yeah, follow the landed arrow, hope for the best. Okay, creativity club. Oh, does it? Oh! Oh, it's getting all dark and weird here. I know. No charges, damn it. This is not platform nine and three quarters. Dear God, I wish it was. This would be a lot better if you were go just going to Hogwarts instead of wherever the hell this is. Oh, I see. We need to follow the signs. Mm, okay. Oh God, that one looks like Jason Voorhees for a second. I'm not going to lie. There we go. There we go. Okay, you're doing good. You're doing good. Well, you may not be, uh, you may not be Harry Potter, but boy, do you have a magic wand. Yeah. All right, now let's see what we're doing here. Are we going to continue this fever trip of a musical number, or is it actually going to end? Oh, I think we might still be going. I think we're still going. Yeah. Good luck. It took a minute, but I realized you had to follow the arrows because there were different signs yeah. that were turning on. I was thinking you were just going in a circle. Honestly, I wish it was the Sonic Screwdriver. It would also make things a lot easier. But it does also change reality in a way that I don't think the Sonic Screwdriver does, so maybe. Like Tom Zane before him. Oh, these guys all look like Taken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Away from the city. Romantic getaway. I can't see where I'm going. Thank you, giant what put up face of old gods of Asgard for yeah. showing me the way. Thank you, thank you guys. You always did help in mysterious ways. We oh. don't we don't either. Alan is in the dark place and he is trying to figure out where he's going. A oh, flare gun! Yay! Oh, thank <coughs> God. That's something, yes. I like this. 
We're in the dark place, supposedly, and Alan thought that he had control over things, but he clearly doesn't. No, Alan has lost the plot. Oh, hi guys! Oh my god. I was thinking, did you get an empty flare gun? But no, no, you're okay. <laughs> Stop throwing axes at me! I can't even see where you are. I know there, I know there's trees around here, but we're not in the forest, actually. Please, that all. Well, granted, I'm not sure, considering there's a payphone and cars inside this soundstage. These could be actual trees. What the hell do <laughs> I know? I have to admit, this is oddly satisfying. It is. It is very satisfying to have a flare gun with lots of ammo everywhere. And the one and flares that I basically one hit kills to the taking. Yeah. Oh, I actually have all my weapons again. Oh, sweet! Oh, like a porta potty. I wonder if this one's actually. Uh, if wonder if this one works, <coughs> or if it too is out of order. Can you quick check the fortify? I want to see if it. It doesn't have the sign on it. I know, but still. Oh, oh! oh. Hunting season, he says. <laughs> you know <sighs> that. You know what that means, though. You know what that means? What? That dark world manages to have more shit together than coffee world does. <laughs> 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 and boy, that's either really impressive for the dark world or really, really embarrassing for coffee world. Or both. Or both. But yeah, I guess both are not mutually exclusive now, are they? Oh god. Oh lord. All the blood. All the blood. Enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I would never have guessed. Uh, okay, so I only have one flare, so I'll stick with the gun for now. So I can find another box, hopefully. Oh, hello, boys. Oh, what? Yeah. Ow. Alan, I was wondering what he was doing. He's having a panic. Ow. Yeah. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, there's too many. For, for using the pistol, at least I was too close to him. Nice, very nice. <gasps> oh, oh! That came out of nowhere. God damn it! <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but his face looks slightly more sweaty in that clip than it did the original time. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh yes. Alright, now let's see what we got going Are on. Are we now. going all the way back? Oh! No, 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 we're, we're just in the third part. Oh, yeah. I know it even now. I have lost the plot. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't have my healing items. That's the problem. Oh, yeah, well, hopefully you get those back soon. Cause your weapons did just kind of spontaneously come back to you. Yeah. Hello, boys. I'm back. And also, too, it was it was kind of nice because you didn't have the same like creepy, like you know, glitchy, um, death loading mm -hmm. screen at yeah. all. And you. I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure I try and get some or multiple of them with one yeah. hit to try and conserve flare ammo as much as I can. I wonder if you'll be able to pull this up on Spotify later. That would actually be awesome. It would be pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> this would be an awesome song for Spotify. Holy crap! Uh, you know what? Everything has been so like goofy that it does it, it has distracted me a little bit for the fact that you know if this too is once again another cool song. I feel like if you just listen to it with yeah. all the without all the craziness, you'll be like, oh you know what no, this is awesome. Yeah. And this guy just won't leave me alone. Back up. Thank you. Good point. Yeah, I didn't want to waste a flare on mm -hmm. one guy. Not even a really persistent guy. No. You know, it, it, like you sit back up and uh, to to a um, to an Alan Wake enemy, and you didn't get run over this time. <laughs> Granted, this guy. Oh, I found painkillers. Yay! Nice. Granted, this guy's not a tractor, but hey. Wait for solo. It says. Hello. Oh, 
Oh, really? You were right next to that guy. Oh, oh come oh. on. God damn it. Came out of literal nowhere. Yeah, the take can do that, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And it can't even be fully mounted because, you know, they're taken, they're the shadows. It's kind of what they do. And Helen is just like, why is this with me? Ow. Stop it! Ow, really? Alan, reload your gun! Alan. Okay, I was resetting that because yeah. it just... That was unfortunate. Yeah, he was not reloading. Mm. I know it's a flare gun and it takes a second, but... Come on, man. Still, that was... This is still the most insane sequence. I know. I know, I'm actually like... I'm trying to pay more attention to the lyrics at this point. Oh, he dodged that? What the? Did he just pistol whip this guy? Oh, that's oh. so cool! Oh, I actually have a melee! You can bitch slap a dick and that's awesome! <laughs> yeah, ow! Oh, careful. Whoa! annoying guy from earlier. Ah. Oh. ah! Damn you! I was resetting that on purpose because I had, I had lost like three flares. Mm, that's because right. that one guy just wouldn't stop moving. We'll get there eventually, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I feel like I feel like this is supposed to be like one of those like empowering sequences like in Control, but to be fair, I did die a few times in that as well. And just because, just because it's just because it's empowering doesn't mean you won't also die. Yeah. Just, like, I'll be honest, I died a few times on the rock stage when I first played it, I yeah, think you remember. Yeah. And also too that one that one scene when you have the war mm -hmm. song. Um Really? I was shining my light in her face. He's damn taken, don't play by the rules. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. How does it only hit the one? Good down, thank you. Ah. I was not struggling this much with this part originally. I don't know what suddenly happened. Yeah, a little distracted. Yeah. Hello. Right. Alan, reload the gun, please. Yes. Now, Thank now you. take some pills. No. Now, don't stop bitch slapping the duck. Stop bitch slapping in the air and take your take your pain. Thank you, yeah. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Yes. Pull a um, Max Payne and and just chug bottles of pain pills. <laughs> Max Payne pops pain pills, you say? Yes. That's like a running gag of the games. I, think. I know, and it, you know what makes it an even funnier running gag is the fact that hello is the mm -hmm. fact that his name is Pain. Yes. That that that's perfect. Oh, really? Yeah! Oh, good, good dodge, good dodge. Yeah! I love that. 
<laughs> I wonder if you actually can, like, melee or take it up. Oh! oh hey. Really? Like, hey, you want hey, you want to slap at me? I'll slap at you! Oh, God. <laughs> That's right, only three bullets because they upgraded it. Mm -hmm. I see a house over there. Oh, yay! Enemies. enemies. Oh, I must have somehow triggered the enemies from there mm. and made them come up with the other ones. Oh. Oh, in the meantime, please. Oh. I have ten batteries. That looks. This looks like. This is like. Um. It, it, Isle. This is for like cabin. Oh, yeah. hello, sir. Bye, bye, sir. Oh, you God. were right next to it. How are you still alive? Ah, there's more of them. Okay. How are you two still alive? I'm trying to think he's taken or being really annoying. Yeah, I think that the um, range on the flare gun is a little finicky. Well, I'm gonna have to upgrade that as soon as I can. Oh, uh, yeah, you're gonna be so psyched when you can. Oh, mm -hmm. beep, 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 beep. Sorry. I tried to say something along the lines of people are over there and it came out with. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just. <laughs> Just normal, uh, just normal angel stuttering noises. I, I mm. like this. Okay, uh, is this actually the end? <laughs> what if the answer is no? Oh, maybe, maybe. I have to admit, this whole like, this whole like TV inside a TV sequence is a little freaky. We're in like, this is like the tenth TV we've gone into. Ah, point. <laughs> we're back to the beginning, I think. Oh, good lord. Do we get to keep the flare gun? <laughs> well, that was great. Yep, I got my flare gun, but it still has no ammo. <laughs> that was pretty good, he said. A vision. Oh, yes, yes. There we go. Nice. Oh, God. Ah! Oh. Oh, hey. Huh. Hey, man. Hey, what? Such a dark place, am I? <laughs> oh, we're not done yet! Oh, the encore! There was a manuscript that held the key. A vicious cycle I must not surrender to. A We've reached the jazz number! <laughs> Alan Wick, lounge singer. You stress for it. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Seeing the old gods of Asgard doing doing this is actually pretty hilarious. Oh god. Song's end. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Number eleven. Okay, I think we're now actually in the um, live action, are we? Are we? Is this actually the end? No. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no. no now no, it's no, live no. action. <laughs> now it's live action. Look, like, look, like it's Casey. Yeah? And Casey's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> The fact is, I'm pretty sure this is the director of the studio, and he said, "You know what? I want to sing the musical number for this game." I wonder how. I wonder who. I wonder who cleaned the fable gets to be. Hey, I was a taking during this. I got to wear. I got to wear. You see that? I got to wear a hard hat. <laughs> you see the one with the sweatshirt tied around the waist? That one's me. <laughs> oh, he's actually coming into it. Yeah, he is. He is. He's a lot. He's coming in. Come on, buddy. And coffee. Did you see that? He actually smiled a little. Yeah. Uh, and he's just exhausted. He's trying to make reality snap into, back into place as much as he can here. Yeah. Oh! Okay, alright. Now I think we're at the end, considering... Yeah, we're back in the creepy studio. Maybe he's scruffier than I thought. I'm not sure. Yes, we know about Saga! <laughs> Is that Artie? 
Nope. <laughs> Actually, I can't tell if it's... I thought I thought I could tell for sure based off of, like, you know, his hair and his facial hair, but now I'm not so sure. Because mm -hmm. his... I don't know. Sure, we'll figure it out eventually. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, I actually have all my stuff again. Eh, thanks, and I got the fire gun! Yay! Oh, there he is. There's Ozzy. He's up mm. in the aisles. Okay, um, quick slot this for that, and then I'll make the pain meds. Quick slot it over here. And the bandages, I will quick slot over there. Alright. Hello! Hello, Ozzy! Step carefully, you don't want to slip. <laughs> Hi, Ozzy. <laughs> I don't think you can. No, he's just there. <laughs> he's just there. He's just doing Ozzy things. He's just doing Ozzy things. Cleaning what looks like a carpet with a mop. <clears throat> <laughs> Again, Ozzy is as Ozzy does. That is fair. Oh. End of part. Like <laughs> All his life. Look, wait, see what that. Oh, see what that trophy says. Nope. Ah, that's too... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, damn, did we miss it? Uh, I think it's the achievement we, we sing. <laughs> oh, my God. So, the thing I wanted to tell you... Yeah? Is, fun fact, Alan... There's actually two people who come together to make Alan. There's the man who does the live-action capture and, you know, whose likeness is based off of, and then there's someone who does the voice. Because the man who does the, um, the live-action capture, I guess, look, like, you know, looks the way that they wanted Alan yeah. to look and stuff, yeah. but he has a very... But English is not his first language. He has a very, very heavy accent. He's mm -hmm. understandable, but I, um, from what I heard, they thought it would be a little bit, I guess, distracting. Mm -hmm. So they had another person do dubbing for his lines. So not only was there like, so it was all about me. This performance, that whole performance thing. On. There was not only like the actor doing it. Like there were two people involved in doing Alan for that. There, were, there like, was the person who looked like Alan who was doing the motions and lip syncing, and then there was yeah. the person who did the voiceover. Yeah. So forget like you know, so forget one per so forget one Ellen actor doing that. There were two Ellen actors doing that and yeah. good lord. I knew how utterly lost I was. Nope, the phone is ringing again. The phone. The phone is ringing. Again. The phone, <laughs> the phone is ringing. I had to find out more. Let's see if we can figure out any clues as to who it is. Mm -hmm. Hello. How the fuck could I? Yeah, that's fair. There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? That's a good question. Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice? is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Clearly. Our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. Oh, Ocean View! <laughs> Oh, this, this is, is so cool. Loops and rituals. Uh -huh. uh. Cause it's not a lake, it's an ocean. Whatever the hell that means. Yeah, but the fact that the ocean view is in here definitely confirms what we know about a suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Ah, uh, right on the money for the whole dark place. It's the dark place. Nothing in here is not shady. Yeah. Oh, this wasn't over here before. Oh. Was it? Oh no, that's the that's the alley. Yeah. Wait. Wait. No. No. This. No. This was the alley I went in last time. So. 
Is that? Oh yeah, Ocean View Hotel. Oh yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm, I might need to go through the alley to get to it. Potentially, oh. we'll see. Ocean View Hotel. Can you go back for a second to the map? Zoom in close. Look, look. The um, Caldera Street Station. Look, Ocean View Avenue. Go down a little bit. Go down a little bit. Look, Wheeler Street. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. There's no way it's gonna be as simple as walking in this door over here, though. Nope. Wondering what waves are about to happen here, though. I'm probably gonna be attacked. That's fair. You're gonna open up the door, and the entire ocean, and like a bunch of water is gonna come at you. It's gonna be like the elevator scene in The Shining. Hey, everyone. Ooh, can you read that little plaque thing? Uh, no. No, okay. Okay, so I am in, but. Alright. So far, so creepy. Oh, and we're back out. That delivered me back to the street. What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. Okay, that was actually way more harmless than I thought it was gonna be. Me too. With dream logic to lead me to the hotel. I look to the neon signs for guidance. Thanks, Alan. Follow the mirror peak neon sign. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh look up, look up. The sign is different. Can you go up a little bit the more? The cult. A forbidden play brought to life. The cult. A forg an unforgettable immersion theater experience. See it live. Midnight. Yeah. Nightless night. Uh-oh. Is this Alan talking? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, that's fair. You have to be a man's own game. The story that... I was building was fragile, constantly under attack. There was no time to waste. The dark presence was only a step behind me. I think there's something to be said about the fact that Alan like works with a typewriter rather than a computer, because mm -hmm. it allows him the quickness of typing that you don't necessarily have like by writing longhand. But also with a computer document, you can like highlight stuff and erase it it's like it was never there you can't do that with a typewriter yeah. not unless you use like correction ink and stuff so that kind of lends itself to the idea that anything he writes becomes tangible right away and he can't just delete it like what he said right there you know the darkness did manage to get itself into the story and now i have to use it because the story has to stay true to to its own internal logic. Once yeah. something gets into the story, I can't pull it out. Yep. Oh, we're back in the alley, but there's a new area over here. Yeah. Is there a door over this way? Hold on. Uh, it looks like there might be a door over here, or maybe it's up above. Hello? No, I don't see it. But I'm, I am seeing more Cult of the Deer imagery now. Yeah. Instead of just the shadows. Mm, cult of the word. It's funny because here, you know, they're called cult of the word, but up above, they're called cult of the tree. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. We're going to run into Casey again? Oh! Yes. Yes. Casey, yes. The killer. The cult leader. It's in your eyes. No! You've got the wrong man! It's Scratch! There's no time to lose! You're going nowhere. <gasps> oh! <gasps> oh. It, it wasn't. Oh, who? Okay. I'm not sure which one of them got shot. I want to say. Oh, it's Casey. Casey got shot. But how? Alan didn't have a gun with him, did he? Oh, no, he did. Holy crap. Where did you get that? Okay, I know he had it, but he uh. didn't have it on his hand. What is going on? It was all my fault. I'd had this 
dark place in my head for so long. Sometimes I forget the pain was there. Oh my god. It was the way you were supposed to feel. I was not in a dark place. I was the dark place. The source of it all. The vessel. Um. <laughs> this place kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again. Yeah. Room six six five. Oh uh, dear. Well, that's not. All well, that's. Anything. But that also is the room that was mentioned before. Yeah. Mirror Peak Bar. That was not here before. And it looks like that's our way forward. Yeah. What happens if we do this? Nope. Okay, it's still there, but now we have a safe zone. Uh -huh. And also a free space for more light if we need it. Hello? Oh no, we're gonna be upstairs, aren't we? Yes, we are. Oh, Alan. Yep, oh, yeah. now, now we're on the roof. Oh, well this is creepy. Yeah, but we're right where we need to be. We're on our way to the Ocean View Hotel. Okay. But we're probably going to have to deal with a number of monsters on the way. Yeah, I have to admit what Casey was talking about um, struck with something that I thought was very curious in the uh, lyrics of all that, you know, madness-inducing musical that we just saw. Yeah. Um, so he's the torchbearer. Mm -hmm. Like, it was around that part, the part that you had to keep looping. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he said, like, but the darkness within him held her hostage. Um, you know, it was like if he, had he seen her drowning, you know, he would have like, um, you know, defeated the dark, the dark presence at the lake. And I thought that was curious that they said like, you know, the darkness within him held her hostage, not that the dark no. presence held her hostage or like, or something yeah. like it. It kind of lends itself to the idea that the dark place and the dark presence has some. Um, like, like, is in some way, like, tethered to Alan or Alan's own struggles. Lend itself, to give it more, um, strength. You know, like, yeah. honestly, while I know that it, as this is especially true in the first Alan Wake, that I probably could be here as well. In the first Alan Wake, you know, while things are almost, ex like, are, you know, pretty clearly, like, supernatural. If you didn't have such explicit confirmation, you could very, very easily just construct it to see it as a story where, you know, a man with a troubled, um, traumatized mind who is struggling with stress and depression and some substance problems and extreme writer's block and a short temper like you know put those all together yeah. and he will have a very volatile person who is trying to make sense of the world and i mean heck you know if a few de if a few details were different than what emil hartman was saying to you that you were having a snap after alice died could very easily have been the truth yes like, it, it kind of lends itself to the idea that the dark presence is a mental th way of Alan's way of coping with this with um, all the shenanigans that are going wrong. And yeah. It almost and it could almost be an allegory for his own dark place and the own darkness that he's struggling with. Yeah, it actually reminds me of something um, for the game um, Celeste, because oh, yeah. um, someone was um, recently did a list about fridge horror to celebrate horror um, Halloween. Oh yeah. And they mentioned how in Celeste. At the end of the first chapter, there is the memorial, and it's like for those who to honor those who perished along the way. Yeah. And it's like, the, given the themes of depression later in the game. Oh no. Yeah, it's talking about those who might not have been able to claw their way out. But oh. then when it, but then because it was later, you know, confirmed that the um, the um creator was um trans, and the story might have been a, more of a struggle about transgender. It could also have the same. 
you know, yeah. the same meaning f- for that as well. And mm-hmm. and the guys and the person's just like there are so many like mental diseases or problems in society that this could be relating to, mm-hmm. and it's kind of you know creepy that yeah. it, it's kind of like fridge horror, just how many different groups that this for those who perished along the way could potentially apply to. Yeah. Okay, we've got a few poltergeisty things here, and oh. I have a feeling that monsters are going to come as soon as I start trying to get rid of them. Uh. I'm so, I'm so, you know it's just worth it. Oh. Ow, I guess oh, that's an actual enemy. <laughs> and you know what's worse is that the the uh, like the um the surface layer um interpretation of that monument that people who are the um you know people who tried to climb the mountain and then died while doing it. I mean yeah. that that's grim enough on its own, but when you put those other pieces together, you're like, mm-hmm. oh no. That's so unfortunate. Oh god! <gasps> Whoa! Guy just, guy just appeared from the from the corpse of the other guy. Mm-hmm. It looks like he tried to sucker punch you in the gut, but his fist went through. He was like, "Oh!" oh I dodged. I like the I like the perfect time to yeah. avoid it. And they look so different too. They look so um, it looks so much like a like he avoided hitting you and just went right through. And he was like, "Oh, I guess there's some." I guess there's some downsides to being intangible. Oh, oh, we're up here. Yes. Yep, because you go down the stairs and you end up higher. That's just dark place logic. Just wait for a point later on where we go downstairs and we actually end up downstairs. Oh my, we're not going to know what to do with ourselves. Well, at the very least, for right now, that is still happening in Saga's story. Yeah, and it still happens occasionally, like when we were in the subway, but that was less of, like, you know, like, like, like a single corridor, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to go through this. Okay. Well, at least there's a lamp here. That's nice. Beware the dark. You need help. Good luck. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you, book. Brooke, Brooke Bowens. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much yeah. for joining us. Yep, yeah, and, and I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Yes. Ooh, yeah. you got a good stash here. Oh, I can't carry any more flashbangs. No. Fashions. No. Damn. Damn. Um, what can I get rid of? Oh, actually, I can use this um, this med pack because I, you know, I need more health anyway. Yeah. Aw, but still. Aw. Damn, Alan's small pockets. Oh, and I picked up flare gun ammo. <laughs> uh, wait, why do I have... I have shotgun ammo, but I don't even have a shotgun yet. Well, I guess you can put that in the shoebox when you find one. Okay. I, oh, you, hello, sir. Oh, there's a... I think there's a safe room over there, so I can go to that and then come right back. Okay. Come on, that's it. Be a good shadow man. Be a good shadow man and go away. Thank you. It's so nice when the enemies listen to me. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often, but every time it does, it's just so pleasant. Yeah. Careful, I think Check your corners, yeah. Oh. I think there's a couple more up top, too. Yeah, and I see a, a golden... Remind me, there's a golden arrow. There's a gold. Oh, that's right, yes. For words of power. Yes. Okay, is there anything in here I can still pick up? Yes. Yay, mids. Yes, the gold... There's a word of power up above somewhere, so... Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, actually, it's... Oh, is that it? No, it's but it's tracing over that way, so it might be on that... Uh, we'll, we'll look for it after we put some stuff away. Yes. Ah. Uh, coffee coffee break! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what can I put away? I'll let the um, shotgun ammo. I can put away this, yeah. <coughs> I can put away the med kits. Yeah. Kind of a pain you can't stack the med kits. Yeah. But that, I guess that does make some sense. Mm-hmm. Like, you can, like, you know, shove ammo into the same box, you know? Like, yeah. oh, yes, there's ten in this one and five in this one. We'll just shove it all in the same box. But with med kits, be like, oh, yes, I shall... No, I cannot shove this into the roll of the other thing. Nope, sorry. This uh, The ice packs do not compress the way I want them yeah. to. Okay, so... 
Um, that's actually caution tape, so it might not be the uh, trail. <laughs> well, we'll see. Because if so, aha! Uh -huh. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, for anyone who hasn't played this game, the word of the word of power words of power are essentially skill points that you can put into different abilities, which will then grant you um, power ups. They're pretty. They're kind of like Alan's um, equivalents of Saga's charms, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, increase the, the area of the flares works for me. Very much yes. Or the um, kind of like her manuscript fragrance fragments. Yes. Work. Where was that two case? Uh, here. Nice flashback. Woohoo! <laughs> excuse you. Yep. Excuse me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's this? At the door. Oh, I hear humming. Oh, oh, oh! I think that's Tim. Yeah. Tim, Tim, come help. <laughs> yep. Oh, but it's locked from this side, so. Damn it! Where's the, where's the screwdriver when you need one? Oh, there's an echo over there. We can still get. Hmm. But. Is that back in the alley? Uh, no. I think it's further up ahead. Oh, okay. Okay, so now we need to climb the ladder. And... Crunk. Oh, hello, sir. <gasps> oh! Oh! I'm guessing that was an actual enemy. <laughs> but he's gone now, so... <laughs> how is it that an enemy... How is it that the enemy vanishing away from the combat is somehow terrifying? Because... Bloop! Ah... Oh. I wonder if this will take me somewhere different, whether or not it has a light. I think I just got more shotgun ammo. You probably did. Nope. Okay. I'll hold on to this for a moment. But, oh. Uh, there. The city will suck you dry if you stay here for too long. The real reason Casey You'll likes the rain. You'll end up with a lost soul haunting the streets and alleys. A faded out shadow glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror. Thank you for following book reflection book. staring Thank back you. at you with all the pent up anger, regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. You know what I love is that. While the one guy had the mon like had the gritty Casey monologue going on, they had his like live action face actor stand there and make really like thoughtful, like you know faces faces, just at the same at the same time. Oh, hang on, we got another new one here. Hello, um, Tina Wilson. We're doing fine. How are you? Oh. Oh, oh and thank you for following. Oh, I see a golden arrow, but I don't Ooh. see... Oh, uh, oh, no. We're getting a lot of company this time. Yeah. Oh! There we go! Yay! Word of power! Word of gun. Doing good. pretty darn great, but good to hear. Yeah. Good Word to of hear. gun! Flare gun projectile area of effect. Oh my god, yes, please. <laughs> Oh my god, there was I was I was struggling so much with the um with the musical number. Yes. Which that makes sense in context if you watch the stream back, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> sort don't, of. Don't worry, I'm sure Pie Master's gonna make a highlight of it so you can see it in all its insane glory. Yes. Which which you can also see on YouTube if you don't wanna check back on the Twitch chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you <sighs> actually how how much of a pain will it be for you to go back to the alley? Because I do actually think that there may have been a word of power. That um, we missed. We will see. Just give me a second because I'm pretty sure that this guy will have a map with the words of power. Okay. And I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Hey, Tim! How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, be going. Yeah, good thing your sense of humor is... What's uh... the place you got here? You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? Well, I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Yeah, but still. Or I was. 
I'm sure I want to get you back there, please. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? Yes. She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. Aww. Aww. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. Really? I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. Oh, she's huh. in the feds? Look good for her. Yeah. And we like to play all to all sorts of games, like Resident Evil, Legend of Zelda. We're, we're going to play Mario Wonder at some point mm -hmm. once we finish Alan Wake 2 and Soma, which we had started. Yeah. We, we play a lot of different things. Yeah, I mean, we played, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's What am I forgetting? Oh, Metroid. You did a couple yeah. of Metroid games. Yes, I love Metroid. Funny. Me too. Ooh. I, I do want to play Marvel Spider-Man 2 at some point, but I have so many other games on my backlog. Mm -hmm. It's just I saw the I saw the R2 the RD R2, and I read that a little bit wrong. I thought it was RT R2D2. I'm like, when did he become a game? Yeah, door went missing near near Cauldron Lake. He's struck by lightning. Holy crap! Any official records of a Warland door living in town or anywhere? Another dead end. Okay, so it's probably an alias. See if there's anything mm -hmm. new here. Yeah. Is oh, that that was... morgue? Yeah, that, that's new stuff. Um, Dora went missing in 1988. Age has not aged. Longevity, not human. Alien, magic. Uncle Frank would have known more, but he is dead. Aww. That's real name, Hidden Meeting. Yeah. Yeah, and everything else is the same. And let me check mm. this. No, there is not a word of power in this alley that we are missing. Okay, what's the story behind this game? Oh lord, uh, that's okay. So this is actually the sequel to an Alan Wake game, to the Alan Wake game that came out in 2010, that follows this man, a writer named Alan Wake. He and his wife, yes, it is a horror game. He and his wife were um, on a vacation and then got embroiled in this whole like supernatural um, like shenanigans. Where, where, where basically a dark presence took over for a week and made him write a story mm -hmm. that started to come true in the real world. Mm -hmm. But he had the presence, while, even while possessed by the dark um, presence, to write himself into it. Um, not zombies necessarily, but people become filled with the... Um, the dark presence, and mm -hmm. then become what are called Taken, which, which they're basically mindless and yeah. dead on the inside, but they are smart enough to use weapons and tactics, and they also, um, in the first game, they have a lot of really funny word salad, which kind of goes against the horror aspect. Like one of them will yell, "Like Omega Three Fatty Acids are good for your heart," while yeah. trying to stab you with an axe. One tends to say, "One tends to say." Uh, you can learn about nature and yourself as he comes out of the toilet, which I thought was really funny. Um, they, they do, um, oh gosh. So, but the, I think if for a lot of intents and purposes, they are zombie-like. You know, they come out of nowhere. They are kind of like, they're single-minded. Like, yeah, they're like, single-minded determination yeah. to go after um, Alan as a way to sort of like, yeah, yes, the original game, even though it is, Yes, the original game, even though it's 13 years old, they did a remastered, it still really holds up mm -hmm. well, even in terms of, like, story and gameplay. Yeah, and it's very, it's, so far this game has been very different in a lot of ways, but still really, really cool. It's a, the original game, you played it on the PC, whereas this is the PlayStation, um, yeah. and a lot of the mechanics are different, but it's, but it is really cool, and it's kind of following up, like, the original game ended on a really ambiguous note, and this is offering some follow-up, which is proving to still be very, very ambiguous, but it leads to a really fascinating mystery, <clears throat> because you're trying to figure out just what the dark place is, what the presence is, how does it work, what are we, like, What's it, like? What is its end goal? How do we stop it? Yeah, and in this case, especially um, in this case, it's following up on the cliffhanger from the last game, where Alan is stuck in the place where the dark, where the dark um, presence um, lives, basically, which is the bottom of the lake. Though the last, though the last game ends on on with Alan saying, "It's not a lake; it's an ocean." 
Which, okay. we're not sure what exactly that means, per uh, se. Yeah. No one is, but... No oh, word of lamp. Congratulations. Mm. If the, um, the satanic symbols uh, are prob- what you're probably seeing. There's a bunch of graffiti around, but there's also a lot of symbols. There is a cult in the game whose motives and methods have been very jumbled shall we say it's a little tricky to figure out exactly what they're doing if they're working with it because sometimes it seems like they're working with the taken in the dark oh, i think that's a deer not a goat but yes it seems like a yeah it seems like it's a um sometimes it seems like it's working with the taken the, in the dark presence sometimes it seems like they're working against it's possible the cult itself is fractured i never thought about it like that yeah but it's possible that some people have gotten things twisted around but yeah. you, so, but you are yeah it's called like the cult of the world the word or the cult of the tree, uh, they've been no they've been problematic been, they have been problematic yes no matter what's been going on they have been very problematic Ooh, supply cash batteries batteries flashbang flare okay you know what I'm going to switch to my flashbangs okay because something tells me I might need it soon I know. Hello. Yeah, the tape is kind of for set dressing. This is actually pretty similar to a lot of to Resident Evil, where like you can open up. Oh well, hello. You can get yourself a drink. Ain't that nice? You. Can, uh, where you can um like you know you can open up a lot of drawers, but not everything will have something in it. Um, it gives you the yeah. little X symbol if you can interact with something. Um, there's written puzzles and notes and logs to to solve and uh, to in order to open stuff and move forward. So in a lot of ways, that's very Resident Evil-esque. Shotgun. Shotgun! Shotgun, damn it! <laughs> I like that the shotgun... Oh, hello, hello. The shotgun is... This <laughs> simple honest is like, shotgun is just like, no. Oh, inventory ah! fall. <laughs> okay, all right. Go find your shoebox. Okay, first I'm going to go to the front door because I might be able to free up some space here. Um, maybe at a later point. Thank you for the offer, but as of right now, we are comfortable with uh, with where we're at. But uh, thank you very much for the offer. Okay, we need to find a code somewhere. Okay. Okay, I'm going to now go back Era. to my... Uh, yeah, well, that was the one we got. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go back to the uh, um, safe room because I want that shotgun. Yes, of course you want the shotgun. Oh, you're not advertising? Okay. Okay, well, still. Oh, yes. Okay, it's, okay. thank you. It's just we did have someone advertising earlier, but it is cool that you are actually doing that. So that is... Yeah. Is... Yeah. Yeah, that is... Uh... Yes, that is nice. If, if we do... Um, change the mind. It is something we. And it's something you know we are interested. We will definitely keep yeah. you in mind. So yeah. thank you. Yeah, we know you're, you're not telling, so we apologize for assuming that. Uh, sorry, it's it's um, it's actually been a more common uh more common occurrence than you may expect. Yeah. In the meantime, we're going to uh, put things in the shoebox. Yes. What to put in the shoebox? So we can go get a big gun. Um. Okay. I'm gonna put a flare in. Um, I really haven't needed to use the full health one, so I'll put that away for now. I know I'm probably going to regret it. <laughs> and then... No, I'm going to... I'll keep the flashbangs as reinsurance. What was that last one? Oh, they'd yeah. love to work uh, for a cute couple like us. Thank you. No. Also, ah. Boop. Ah. I booped her nose. Oh, she's got a pillow with, with mannings on it. Ah. Ah. Potassium. She got a pill of bananas and hit me with it. Yes, I did. Which I did get her for one of her birthdays as a little bit of a joke. Was, was it birthday or was it Christmas? I cannot remember at I this point. I can't remember either. I... <laughs> the only thing left to do is now is now is to get her a pillow with a pineapple on it. You did get me a pillow with a pineapple on it. It's just at that. It's just at my parents' house. The... Uh, yeah. Well, then you need to go get that and bring it here because I completely forgot about I'm it. I'm not going now. <laughs> Well, I know that. <laughs> we're in the middle. We're in the middle of God knows where we are. Sweetie, I'm not saying we need to go right now, but 
<laughs> I know. I know. I'm just. It was great talking it. to you as well. I hope just... you enjoyed stream, or if you haven't, if you want to, if you want to, you like come back and watch the rest of it. Yeah. Oh. Yep. <clears throat> It'll be on, and he's pretty quick at blah 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 blah. Oh God. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, those are expensive. Drinks. Nineteen. What the heck is? Oh, you need nineteen. You need nineteen dollars to get a shotgun. What the heck is a Negroni? I don't know. I'm gonna look that up. What's a Negroni? Yeah. Um, but can I get oh. the shotgun? What oh. do you mean inventory? Oh, do I really? You gotta, you gotta rearrange your guns. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, oh. Yippee ki! <laughs> This thing takes up four slots. Jeez. It's a big boy shotgun. I have 23 bullets for this? Awesome. Also, Tina, good luck with your project. Yeah. And we we'll hope to see you again soon. Yeah. And congratulations. Hey, look at that. Mm -hmm. That is sweet. Was I looking at yeah. the brownie? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, oh, okay. I can quick slot it. It is an actual cocktail. Cool. <sighs> It's made of one part gin, one part vermouth, rosso, and one part camprey, garnished with an orange peel. It is, per, it is considered an, uh, an aper, aper, I'm, I Sweetie, can't, can you... I can't pronounce that, and it's not important, but I am happy to see that it was actually a thing, and what are we doing? Well, I'm looking for the code, because I'm assuming the code oh. is going to be in here somewhere. Hmm. Lake on the Rocks... Uh -uh. Well, if it's the Ocean, Ocean View, View cocktail. cocktail, yeah, twenty-five fifty. Okay, so we'll, we'll try that. Okay. Oh, no, I don't pick it up. Come on. There also, you go. dang, I have a lot of shotgun ammo. Mm-hmm. Someone decided. Oh, to... I knew it. Back off. Practice. Yeah. There you go. I don't think he's dead. He just vanished. He didn't. He didn't actually. Die. Hello, sir. Ugh. Oh, he's wearing a raincoat. This is a wet city. Oh god. Yeah. I feel like most of them haven't been all that, you know. He looks like a he looks like David Dunn from Um Oh god, what's the word? What's the name? It's a it's a it's a movie. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. It was like glass split. Unbreakable. That was it. It was unbreakable. Yeah. Got it. And I have the shotgun, which is awesome. And we are now in the Ocean View Hotel, and there should be one more um, word of power nearby. Maybe it's bird. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to shoot the wall. <laughs> and instead, you threw a grenade at it. <laughs> and he did it so drastically too. Alan was right there. He was like, eh. <laughs> <coughs> sorry. Breathe, CD. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, not this again. The uh, -oh. uh I, I'm looking for the word of power, but I don't see it unless it's like on the street, maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it might be down below. Oh, oh, good lord. Oh, dear. Oh, I, I have a lot of ammo, so... Ah. Eh, you know. uh, even, even though, like, I, I get where you're going with that, but when the one word was behind the wall paneling, there were arrows pointing at it. That's fair. And we don't see any arrows, so we're, I'm going to assume that it's not up here. Yeah. Must be, might be down below. Okay, into the Ocean View Hotel. Is this going to be the same Ocean View Hotel from Control? Dark Place Ocean View Hotel. Oh, this looks like more. Of... Oh wait, 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 wait. That what? that was a scuba thing. That's a scuba. Look, it looks like it looks like Thomas's. Yeah. Thomas and scuba outfit. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they're they're everywhere. Is Thomas the one that we're talking to? And his voice did sound very different. But when we every single time we heard from him in the original, he was either speaking like, like the voice of God. Or was talking through his suit. It's yeah. possible. I, my first, one of my thoughts was maybe it was Barry, but Barry always called Alan Al. He never said Alan. Yeah. And, you know, you know, and plus he doesn't quite talk the same yeah. way. Oh, Ocean View discovered. Um, map not discovered. Okay. 
So we need so to... need to keep an eye out for a map. Yeah. This is definitely a bit different than the one. Room six six five. Here we go. This is definitely different the than the one. Empty, except for the projector. Definitely Old different games. than the one in control. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Well, I guess that's that does make some sense. Yep. Yeah. Boop. Bulk. All right. What's gonna happen? Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. More musicals, maybe. I doubt it, but... <laughs> you never know. We didn't expect the first musical to exist mm. in the first place. Hello, sir. Room 665. Yeah. Also, good luck on your project. Um, Tina. Tina. Yeah, sorry, it was hard to read from the distance. I just saw a fucker on 665. Yeah, this is... Uh, okay, that painting looks creepy. Could it be? What? In Control's DLC, we see Alan arguing, but it looks like they're in the lobby of a hotel. Okay. You thinking this will be kind of the setup to that? Potentially. Um, hello? Is that. Hello? Is that hello? supposed to be Scratch? I hope not. I'm just unprepared for jump scare. Okay. Oh, he got a clue. In this temple of shadow and mist, there's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? Hi. You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. Okay. Who are you? I'm Zane. Ah! Welcome to the house of Zane. He's Tom Zane. He introduced himself as Tom, not Thomas. You look yeah. like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me. You handsome. That is devil. fair. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films, which we did I'm a see. Yeah. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What? Else? What? <laughs> You always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. We're in the middle of the dark place. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? He was a crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus return and its its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Uh -oh. up our transcendental work of art. I don't like the look in his eyes. In this room, in this room. If he's just like a little off kilter, that's fair. I mean, he's been in here for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> we lost the plot again. I told you we could get another musical. This is more. Like, this is more like a music video making montage. But hey. But the way he was been kind of flitting around is very much like um is very much like a taken and I don't I don't like that. And also why did these guys this is the most fun I think you've seen them yeah. having. I just saw him throwing that time. Yes, I, I did. I, I know that I, the timing was a little ironic. Okay, so And that is how the magic happened. Under the influence of drugs. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratch is... <gasps> wife is safe. Back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. But there's a murder site. Here in the hotel. In the hotel. The waves of your riding carry you there. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's that was the scientist guy from Control. If anyone asks, you were never here. Where are you going? I don't know. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. 
An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. Okay, what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. 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 Okay, there's a there's okay, I see. Earth. I see the inspiration there. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. Huh. How meta can you get? He said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. Oh, the door's open. Can I tell you something, actually? Yeah. I mean, you remember how the you remember how the oh, Anderson brothers the entrance lobby. always called you Tom, always called you Tom. Mm hmm Excuse me. I guess this explains the reason why. That's supposed to be the real Thomas A. Excuse me. You do look a lot like him. Mm-hmm. Okay. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone scene. had come in: the victim, the murderer, the detective, oh, an idea. Clear as a vision. Waited for me here. Oh yeah, there's more of this stuff. Here we go. Oh, there, there. I see. We need to head in here first. Oh, what's this? Map. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we like this. Oh. Oh, stretch. Okay. Okay. Zane's room. So we go. you were the. Director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. Mm. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Audience participation. Theater, a play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. Yep. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. Wow. The play was said to have special power. Probably because like it was first made playing with during cu at Cauldron Lake. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. Oh yeah. Time to mess around with the plot. It was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. Okay, so you can't use any of the other other yeah. stuff here. Okay, but the the part one is still here. Oh part one we sing now. This is new. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> the last draft of initiation had brought me to my writer's room, but not the one but not the one where I was writing now a different reality, a different time. I had died at the end, the dark presence had killed me, but something had to change now. My memories of what had happened were not eaten away. There had been another manuscript there. The title page read, Return. Had I written it, but then forgotten about it? It felt important. It was important. Here we go, the lay of the dark land. I would write a new draft of initiation. I knew more now. I would use what I remembered. I had to find my way back to Parliament Tower. I had to find another murder site, a place so dark it remained fixed in this shifting darkness. Oh, that's clever. I, I like yeah. how that works. I would find inspiration, and I would write myself there. I had to find a way to get ahead of the dark presence, get ahead of Scratch. I knew how this worked now. I was in control now. And then you fell, and then you yeah. found yourself in a musical number. How yeah. well did that work for I you? I had fooled myself with the thinking I could control the story. <laughs> I not planned this to be part of initiation. Who... Who did? Dor? Old Gods of Asgard? Was someone trying to confuse me or help me? Remind me who I was and where I came from because I kept forgetting my last story as a song. As a child, I saw Nightmares of Dark Shadows. It was become I was trapped in dark place, dreams, and visions through time. Oh, good lord. <laughs> or was it visions? Second draft, fix the story. Uh, dreams, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and now we're in the hotel. <laughs> oh, good lord, yes. Is someone trying to confuse me? <laughs> this is so good. Ooh. The plot changed the details of the world. Ooh. 
Layers upon layers. Everyone According is invited to, to the pre-show ritual in the ballroom. By a real murder cult. I have to admit that is a pretty good cover. Yeah. A good way to well, kind of add a lot of confusion, yes. I'm wondering at the cult of the word, if that's how it sort of got started. And I wonder if this might be related to the cult that Casey was look or or Saga's partner Casey was looking into. Yeah. Ah. Oh, no water puddle, so I must be stuck on this part for a, a bit of time. But in the meantime, coffee. Yes, indeed. Yes. Oh God, we've played eleven. We've played almost twelve hours of this game, and I feel like we're just barely scratching the surface. The original Alan Wake was nowhere near this long. Well, that's good. We got more Alan Wake. I know, I know. Okay, I'm going to store a flashbang. Something um, tells me that we're not going to be able to finish everything before we um, take our trips. Yeah. But that's okay. I know, it's just... <laughs> ah, so much. I know. Hopefully I'll find a backpack soon. I have so much stuff. Or a little hit pouch. Yes. <laughs> oh. H hi, guys. Are you here for the pre-cult ritual? I'm here for the pre-cult ritual. Aha, uh -huh, you're an actual enemy. Ow. Oh, ha. Uh -huh. You got a crowbar, I got a shotgun. Nope, you're real too. Hello. Oh. Ow. How are you not? How are you not? There we go. Yeah. Okay. Time to take some drama pads. <laughs> kind of curious how uh, Alan and Saga <laughs> keep getting injured in the same spot. <laughs> it, it also, too, it reminds me of how, uh, how in RE8, like, I, I know it's just, you know, like, the mm. animation. You know, you need a single animation for a healing item. But it reminds me of how, like, in the RE7 and RE8, you know, Ethan always splashed the medicine on his hand. Yes. <laughs> it's like, oh, yes, now I want to feed the mold inside of me. <laughs> Take yeah. this herbal oh, so This door oh. has a triangle on it. Mmm. Mmm, very culty. Kick it. Oh, actually, it has a... It has a symbol on it. I wonder if that might be a cue for a, for something. So remember, 112 is just a triangle. 112 is a triangle, yes. Just in case. I don't know if it'll actually be mean anything, but... That door! The toilet is broken! Oh. And, what, and for what? some reason, the plumber has a flare in his toolbox? What is it? Uh, in case the power goes out, maybe. But still, no. that's what a flashlight's for, not a flammable object. And also, what is it with this game and its, like, hatred of properly working toilets? I swear to God. Like, I know the porta potty was fine earlier, but look at all the broke. Think about all the broken toilets and toilet facilities we found so far. Yeah. Why are there so many? I don't know. I just know that I found another healing pack. Yep. Yep, you did. Okay. Move. It's actually kind of funny to watch Alan's little head moving around as you're shifting stuff in the inventory and the shoebox. He's like, hmm. Okay, just, just remind me, just remind me if I forget that there's the healing item in there. Oh, it actually marks it on the map. Okay, that... That is so much better, so I don't have to worry about picking up every little thing. I can, it'll mark it on the map, and then I can. <laughs> oh. But just in, but just in case, there's a healing item in there. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so. Okay, I'm gonna explore a few of the rooms first. I can't get through there because it's currently blocked off. Mm -hmm. But maybe it'll go away if I change it. I was nope. missing something. A key. A functioning doorknob. Potatoes. Mmm. French fries. Probably need some sort of like... Some sort of like pass or something. Okay. <laughs> Where's Ati? We could use the janitor's key to get into everything. This door has oh. two circles. L look up. Let's see what the number is. Oh, hold on one sec. 107 has the overlapping circles. Okay. One tells triangle, 107. Ooh, the room fun. at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Yeah, it did. Didn't Something it? terrible would happen there. I was both solving the crime and creating it. 
Well then, hello. The prop oh. room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Yeah. The troop were busy building their own wicker man. Yikes. Where they themselves would be sacrificed. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Those poor people. Yeah. I and mean, all they wanted, you know, was to just do, you know, normal, normal stuff. You know, just having this, like, you know, epic play and then... It got wrapped up in real cult, yeah. real cult stuff. But now I should be able to get into room 104, which may be the oh, room over over this way. Oh wait, that door was open beforehand. Oops. <laughs> you're okay. You're okay. The Three, four. Okay. Thank you. Well, this isn't creepy at all. It really. <laughs> Sarcasms. <laughs> Everything in this room has been creepy. I was being sarcastic. I know you were, and yet you still laughed at me when I said the same thing in the last stream. Fair enough. <laughs> I have so much shotgun ammo, it feels suspicious. Maybe it's just happy that you got... Honestly, I think the most suspicious part has been the fact that you found the shotgun with 23 ammo in it. Well, I think I, I had a bunch of ammo with me. Oh. Okay. But, but still, okay, you are right. That does make some sense, but still. Oh, or... Copy. Oh, darts. You know, if you... Yeah. It'll take some time. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. What? I... Oh, you made yourself to uh, room 225. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, that must be what it was talking about with the, um... You know, it's like the room moved from this to 225. Yeah! Well, look Dream at logic. We're now on the top floor. Well, that's not nothing that hasn't happened already. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, I think he's real. Uh huh. Yeah, I saw him moving. Yeah, I feel like the more they move, the uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The shadow, the shadows do move, but there's like a difference. Ooh. Two words of power, or just or, one? Or maybe they're, um, maybe like both doors will eventually converge. Maybe. Hello? Okay, in that direction. Might be up on the ceiling then. Keep an eye out on the ceiling. Trying Watch it. the skies. Uh, it's a little hard when you're looking at the floor. <laughs> 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 Look, I may have eyes in the back of my head, but they're not that good just yet. Actually, no, I don't have eyes in the back of my head. I, I, we don't have any kids yet. I have not had the need to develop those. Ooh, there's an Ed Springs commercial. Ooh. Mr. Door. Yep. This universe is Rob Sterling. Rod Sterling, my bad. Someone forgot the comma. Okay. I mean, we're seeing posters around for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were. Okay, that was that comma was an Oxford comma, so like it's technically could be correct, but I always liked using the Oxford comma. I felt like it kept things, you know, tidy, so you knew what you were talking about. There you go. Huh. Oh, ah. <laughs> uh, yes, put the word of war in the bathroom. Where else are you going to have Where else are you going to fight your wars? Damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies in a single shot. Nice. 
Also, putting a word of war in the bathroom does feel very significant for all of the toilet trauma we've had in this game. <laughs> Good gosh. I'm just remembering Alan Wake 1 when the when the one taken burst himself out of the bathroom. You can learn about nature and yourself, which... Oh, oh, hello, boys. Okay, you're fake. You're real. Hello. Oh, hello, boys. Catch! Oh god, he he moves fast. Yeah. I feel like they're all doing that and it feels so rude. Ow! Oh. Okay, he knocked me into the safe room. Well then that's his own damn fault. Alright. Round two, come on boys. I know, I feel like all the Taken have, like, all of the powers, and it feels really rude. Yeah. Like, the Speedy Demons used to just be, a, like, a specific type of Taken, and now every Taken is a Speed Demon. That's something they want to be. something they want to be, but boy do they often want to be. Come on, man. Yeah, okay. That didn't go as well as I wanted it to, but we entered the room. Yes, we did. There was an arrow pointing back up. Which either means that this room was just a bait room, or it's above the door. Uh, uh, it doesn't hurt to explore. Yeah. Yeah, with a shot. I mean, heck, you had to shoot the other one. Yeah. Ah. I just realized I probably should have used a flare gun there, but whatever. I'm gonna be so upset if there's only one word of power. Yes, yeah, check the bathroom. You never know what you'll find in the bathroom. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. A supply cache. Oh, that's something. Mm hmm. More flare gun, so worth it. Mm. And then, okay, I'm gonna use one of these. That no, Alan. Alan. <laughs> Alan, stop. I do like how you can actually though melee people without you know shooting. I know. If like if they get too close. I know, I know. It's like, but stop mailing at the tiny bathroom lamp and put on your goddamn trauma pad, please. <laughs> Come on, man. We're trying to help you. Unfortunately, it does not look like there's a second word in here. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing it was just a... Um, a bait. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bait. Which is rude, because there hasn't been like any baits like that before. <sighs> Maybe the Taken are getting better at this. Damn. I have to admit, I am so, I am still so curious about the whole thing with Thomas. Like, it's one of those things where, like, I felt like it could have been him. Because who else do we know who's a character that, like, is down in the dark? Like, we had ruled out Tim by that point. Yeah. But it's like, he's so different than what he was in the original Alan, which is Alan Wake, which is fair because that Alan, because that Thomas Sane seems to have been built on the, on the, um, character constructs you know but like what is this oh like, it can take the hotel sign oh well that's nice oh apparently he's a, like oh gosh what what happened where are you i was in 219 i took the room and now it looks like there's a, another door that has appeared over here. Okay. It leads me to room 202. Rehearsal room. This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. Okay, so. I'm guessing this was a, like a locked door that I couldn't get through normally. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. what the? 
I'm on the exact opposite side of the hall. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. Okay, do you see that light around the, the edges of the screen? Yeah. I think that might be indicating when someone is actually a Taken Taken. Oh, that's clever. Oh, hello. Oh! Well, oh. <laughs> there's a bit of a case in point right there. Good dodges, good dodges. I don't think he's dead, but where did he go? Should I keep exploring? Uh... No, no, I'll, I'll see what, what's going on in the rehearsal room first. Okay. There we go. All right, watch it for the plot. Hmm? The scene had changed. Another vision. Another oh, there's a cult symbol. Here why we go. set up a play in a hotel? Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? That's fair. No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Sorry, I remember. An actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Uh oh. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying. It seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Mm. Is that crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy kid. That's fair. A haunted hotel. Oh, yes. you got a new plot element. That's a trope for a reason. Yes. Oh. And we'll be able to go back to all the different places and oh, try it out. We know all about tropes, my friend. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god, Darth Maul had a fit in this room. Hello. Okay. Oh my god. What what on earth? <laughs> okay, so that room was only needed for getting the um element. Changing the element uh -huh. didn't mess with anything. Yeah. Maybe the, um, my guess is, I, I'm not sure which one of the other rooms is most likely to have, like, a... I'm assuming it might be the ballroom. Yes. Yeah. That's where it is, and it's not yet the, uh... Mm. Oh, there's an investigation point down there. Oh, that's probably where we can also use the, uh... Oh, yeah. No, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I think that's where we can use um, another, like, element, because that's, cause that's yeah. a scene. Yeah, okay. Let's see, y'all caution tape. Hmm. It was locked from the other side. Hello, sir. Oh, God, that's definitely an enemy. Yeah. Even if it didn't have the white screen effect. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not that, sure what that is. I think that that is, yeah. Usually, yeah, I have no idea. We'll work on it. Oh, look, it's an umbrella. Huh? Ooh, a TV. First, yes, every hotel has, what were those? But it, it, it closed, the TV turned off before I could get to it, and it showed the person again from Control, the professor. Mm. Okay. So, did he find his way to the dark place? He's supposedly dead, I think. Like, well, like destroyed by the hiss. Yeah. Ah. Well, maybe. Well, maybe if the hiss and the dark and the dark presence are kind of working together, huh? Tim. Tim. I needed to find the key. Tim, open up, please. I want your lovely maps. Maybe the dark. Oh. Oh yes. That's the control for sim symbol for control. The yeah. up the inverted black pyramid. Yeah. It's not black there, but Okay, well let's go find some let's go find a Sharpie marker and we'll make it black. We'll paint it black. I think there's oh. a song about that. <gasps> oh Cool. How much do you wanna bet Tom Aww. how much you wanna bet Tom was in this room? 
I would not take that bet. <laughs> 209. Oh, that's nice. And a suitcase. Because oh, he's empty. Oh, it's cool. In addition to all of that, you know, there's also everything about Barbara and Cynthia. Like, that whole saga. Like, was everything in that based on, like, a movie? Or has Alan, like, rewarped everything? Like, I'm not sure which is real. And I guess that's yeah. kind of the point. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, Tim. New map, huh? Yep. Like, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. <laughs> I heard you humming again. Yeah, I, I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Sports. Ah. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi <laughs> horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. He is the anchor. Or we just saw it. It's or he, he's the host, at least. This is all pretty out there. Okay, what what's new on his board? Mm. The red-haired woman. Woman connected to Dora. I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes. Connected to Polyhedron. She will come for me. Jesse. Jesse. Yay. And Polyhedrons, mm -hmm. the inverted black pyramid. Maybe. Because that is what the board in control is supposedly is is, is supposedly. Yeah. If that. You know, if that makes any sense, which it might not. <laughs> okay, so there is a word of power in the stairwell. Uh -huh. And there's one in the ballroom. And there is not one in the bait room. Damn them. But at least you got the stash, so that's yeah. nice. Yeah, and there's a, new, there's a stash in room 101. Mm -hmm. There's a memory back, or there's an echo that is located behind the stairs, which I might be able to get to once I mm. use the haunted in the lobby. Mm. And then is it just me, or does Alan sound like really, like there? There's kind of like a cute charm in the way that he's talk that he talks to Tim now that he like you know remembers mm -hmm. him. Yeah. He's like, oh, it's like, oh yeah, I know that song you're humming. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I... hey, you make a new other room map. That's great, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I still wonder if something, if Tim is, I don't know. Tim being here still is one of the more unexplained parts. Yeah, especially since it doesn't seem like he was taken. He's the just would be the stage of a key scene in the play. here, and he seems to be here as an ally. Like, did 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 Alan grab him? I'm not uh, sure what word of stuff. That's a new one. I think I've had that before. Oh no, I haven't. No, no. Marks all nearby resources <gasps> and points of interest on map. Expands his inventory. I think you made that one. <laughs> you made that one. You really do. You were a little treasure gremlin, and you need this little thing. Yeah. Okay. I'm a treasure gremlin. How much? Uh, you know what's really funny? The word of stuff is basically Alan's, you know, pit pocket. Yes, but also flashlight, and I'm gonna. I'm definitely gonna save up for the um, mm -hmm. for like the marking the items on the yeah. map for the next one. But for now, you are going to enjoy this. Because, you know, you've done pretty well with, like, establishing where everything was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's... Let's see how bad this gets. Okay. Oh, God. No. Uh, actually, let's start off the less terrifying one. Pretty the... sure ritual? Yes. All right, here we go. Tap, tap, tap. Ooh. More of the symbols. I feel like there's something to be said about how the... Granted, triangles are used in a bunch of stuff, but there is something to be said about how the... Um, triangles for... Um, Our soul in room 202, sorry. How, how, the tri how the triangles for the cult symbol do resemble the triangle for control. Hit your marks, keep your masks on, and make it weird. Yeah, that must, that two hundred two thing must have been um, a hint to find the haunted. Yeah. In case you hadn't like found it originally by just exploring around. All right, you ready to make this place haunted? Yep. We're gonna make this place haunted. Brace for impact. Alright. 
stop. I recognized my writer's room on the stage. Yes. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. <laughs> you got here. Oh, hi. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him. And he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. Oh, His name was creepy. scratched out on the posters. Oh no. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. He's it probably was the really actual was, Mr. Scratch. Shit got weird when he was around. Yep. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Yeah, that's gotta be Mr. Mr. Scratch. Mr. Scratch is the devil. Yes. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. No kidding. Okay, let's see how bad we're gonna make this room now. Oh god. <laughs> the devil. Brace for impact, everybody. <gasps> Something out of a horror story. Oh I'm yeah. Going. This is not my writing. This is scratch mocking me. Oh, look at all that blood. In this room, he will hurt her. Oh, God. Oh, it's... Everyone's dead. These, these are the actual cultists. Here. Yeah. Those, um, those are the play actors. Oh, oh. no. Ow. Okay, you got an awesome shotgun. Summon your inner Sarge. There you go. There you go. Whoa. The chair is moving from when I killed him. Yeah. I used two flare gun ammo, but I think it was worth it. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, you okay? You made some nervous yeah. noises. Just the just like all the people getting killed, and these weren't the cultists; these were the actors. Yeah, they were the actors. Like. But that's what I meant to say. That you know, these were the these were the play yeah. actors. Mm -hmm. You don't say. The darkness has been here the whole time. This is literally the dark place. There's no place for it to come. Can you go see what is? Oh, now there's an arrow. Can yeah. you go see what's on, like some of what's written on the wall over there? Your faults, Alice. Guilt. Yeah. Forgets. Phil? Phil. Up there? Oh. Uh, uh no, that's... Uh, oh, that's, uh, that's Alice. Yeah, SOP. Can you, um, can you go back, um... Oh, oh real quick, sorry. Yeah, 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 do, do your thing here. Room Ooh. to 101. Yeah! Okay, um... Back up... Oh, wait. Hang on, turn around. I think there's monsters. Yeah. Oh. There was some more writing on the um, on the other wall in the ballroom. I just wasn't sure if there was any. Okay, no. I. I just didn't know if this yeah. was legible at all. Here. Yeah. Okay. It's less legible than I thought it would be. Damn. Yeah. I thought I had more flashlight batteries. Damn, damn. Okay, I'm gonna go get my more of the flashbangs and stuff. All right, careful. If I can. Where am I going? North. Um, point of interest. I forgot that things don't pause in the map. Another item I had missed, but I guess not. It's just the med kit and the flashbang. I know that the uh, plot points really only affect the scenes, but even once you had left the ballroom, you still saw the blood trails going down the hallway. It's like it was yeah. extending past the scene, and I did not like that. Yeah. 
Same. And I hate how this room is once again filled with shadows. At, ver at the very mm -hmm. least, since you defeated all the monsters in here, it seems as though... Yeah, it, se it seems like the monsters aren't respawning the same way, but it's just the shadows. Yeah. Not great, but yeah. not, you know, yep. not as aggressively murdered. Yep. yep, I have the key to room 101. Okay. I don't think I, I still don't think I can get into the second floor um, hallway word of power. Okay. Unless... Yeah, because I'm not seeing any... Yeah, there's no, like, no less... Yeah. Yeah, I think that going downstairs might open up the stairwell. Okay. So, we're going to do that. Oh, there is blood on the wall. Yeah, right now, yeah, see? That's what I was saying. You extend, like, you know, you left the ballroom scene, but some of the blood is still extending out. Yeah. Let's, let's see if this what this looks like under the devil, because it might have something new. Okay. Please don't be enemies, please don't be enemies, please don't be enemies. The scene here has changed. Uh, all the fresh blood. Oh, this oh hello. The ritual murder site I was looking for. Okay, that's fair. This had just been an appetizer before the main course. Yeah. Okay. It was worth a shot, but... Okay, let's just turn this back into the other one. Just... It's not, it's just, it's, it's just haunted. It's just haunted. It's just haunted. Yeah, no, no actual devil summoning. Oh, everything's fine. You can deal with ghosts. Ghosts don't have to necessarily be creepy. Yeah, okay, that's not in there. Okay, how do I get back down? Um, it's, right, it's this way, and it's the safe room that's in this door. We Ah... Oh. We all like we need to stop soon, but I want to go a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, we got some time. It's only 9 o'clock. Yep. Our microwave is just 11 minutes fast. Oh, God, I think it's 12 now. Oh, nice. 11 and a half, 11 and a half. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll have to, you know, for daylight savings, we'll have to change it anyway. We'll just fix it then. Yep. Let's try this this weekend. Oh. Hello. Well, these weren't here before. Yeah, I don't like how, you know, this... Let's see. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? They, like, yeah, these aren't, like, bodies of... These aren't bodies of monsters that you killed before, are they? No, because those... Because they vanish when they're here. Yeah. They vanish in the dark realm, okay. just not... I know, I hate that this, you know, like... It, it does seem like the creepy, you know, like, set plot points are extending beyond the the scenes, you know? Yeah. I mean, maybe not in meaningful ways, but in ways enough that make you feel paranoid. Mm. Okay, I'm going to set this to a quick slot above oh. my shotgun. Oh, your thing now is a follow the devil's trail. Ugh. Of course it is. And of course you find the room to... Of course you find the door to room 101, which... Okay, yeah. look, I have not read 1984, but I think room 101 is the is like the main torture room. Okay. Well, there's a cache of supplies in there, so we're going to go in there anyway. Let's just hope you don't get tortured before you will get the supplies. Hello. Oh. Okay, the room is under construction. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, Alan. Trapped in an ocean of darkness. The way he was jumping around and twitching actually looked, actually kind of resembled the way um, Zane said that they were partying yeah. around. Oh my god, I had I found so much flare gun ammo in here. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put two of them away, then come back for some more of it. Okay. Oh, what's in here? Battery! Yay. Thank you, I actually really needed that. Especially yeah. because Alan doesn't have, um, Saga's charm for... Yeah. More drops. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> it's actually that's actually kind of funny. I made sure that it was the torture room, and then what did we see? We see him having a well, having a tortured writing fit. Mm -hmm. Oh God, the poor man. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I did see some pain medication in there. Yes. And I now have a. Oh. Yeah, I don't really know what this whole light thing is. <laughs> Me neither. Yay. Okay, more pain meds, which I am going to take. Bloop. There you go. Just chugs an entire bottle of pain medication. Yeah, I'm assuming it is the entire bottle, since you know you you throw the entire thing down and then you don't you're not shown putting a cap on <laughs> as you yeah. lower it. Okay, let's try haunted. Okay. Okay. Um, There's still something marked for investigation. Okay. Okay. Now let's try. Oh, actually, hold on. Oh, no. Out. Uh oh, where are we going? <laughs> We're, I'm just, just going to see if there is a way into the stairwell, but now it still looks like it's blocked off. Okay. So now let's head back this way and try. The devil. The devil, because why not? Well, I. Well, not, there, not there, why there are, not. There are many reasons why not. It's the literal devil. The problem is we have to do it because it's how we progress the game. Because changed with the story. The devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood. Because oh you know what that's probably why we're seeing the smears of blood. It's the it's to point you in the right direction once you leave the scene. Yep, and now I'm missing the this is probably where I'll get the last scene to get to the final part of the room. <gasps> okay. No. Oh, 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 that's new. Oh, that's new. I put the flare in its face. And you escaped its gravity. Good for you. You got a trophy. Yeah. That was new. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what was happening there. Uh, go, well, well, I know what did happen. My voice cried. Hello. <laughs> oh, dear God. Oh, my. And not just because of the mask. Just, oh, my God. How much uh, blood would even be required for this? Probably like all of the blood from the from the maybe that's why they killed everyone to have enough blood to do this. Yeah. Yeah, but I can't get. I I can't get back down at the moment, but it looks like there's another echo somewhere behind. Me. I don't know. We'll head upstairs first because we still need to also find the um the, oh, the lights. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is awful. Oh, God. Keep an eye out for arrows. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe it's not just at the top. The people at Remedy are sick, I brilliant little bastards. New idea here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hello. Scratch, if that's who we playing the devil was had stayed in the hotel I wonder if he got room service Asking around the reception got me a room number hmm. six 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 how appropriate He'd requested that room specifically the devil had a sense of humor or he really didn't no he probably did it's just it a little too on the nose either way according to the director the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast he had only come out for the play and always in character. Ah. Uh, how appropriate is it that the devil's uh, room is right next to Thomasine's? Ah, uh, too fitting. Yeah. Well, there you go. Where are we? We're lost. 
What did the numbers up top say? On, on top of the doors? Like 658. Okay, so we're on the right track. We're just off the map, I think. Yeah. Well, I still don't know where this is. Which is annoying. I want my word of power. Maybe your word of stuff. Exactly. Give me my stuff. I want to put more things in my pockets. I have my little treasure gremlin and my name may or may not be Gollum. Oh, 664. Okay, we're getting there. Oh, looks like the... Oh, uh, boy. Gee, I wonder if this is the right place. lingering in the room I was about to have another killer idea oh I'm not sure you really want one look at what your ideas have had this so far right now let's talk about the murder victim the lady who was killed in the climax of the play oh good god lady. well it was an honor to get to work with her the grand dame for sure she went back a long time Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. Barbara? That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene. Well, if her name is Barbara. Mm -hmm. Devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. Yes. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. Or is it Alice? Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, whoa, it's whoa, the dark presence. Run away! Run away! Retreat! Hang on. <laughs> All the doors are opening. I also do think it's interesting that the uh, room six. The room 665 is not really where you would expect to find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah! Ah, excuse me, boy. Excuse me. Excuse me. There you go, there you go, you're okay. You're good. You're okay. <laughs> the dark presence had come for me. Drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. <sighs> okay. Okay. Well, where are we? We're lost. In Walmart. Maybe six years old. Oh? Are we outside? The muse was the murder victim. The final scene took place in room 108. Oh, we're kind of stuck in the hotel for a bit. Oh boy, okay. Um, all right. Okay, but... I feel like that. I feel like this murder victim was either going to be Alice or Barbara. Yeah. Oh my God. No, that's not right. I want to get back upstairs first. I want to see if there's a way to get to that word of power. Okay. Oh my God. What if? What if you can only get all the words of power if you're playing on the higher difficulty? That wouldn't surprise me, considering that there's some pages from the um, departure that you can only. Right, that you can only get in the um, in the nightmare mode. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I you. needed to Thank find you. the muse, the murder victim, room one oh eight. Oh my god! I know it's in room one oh eight, Alan. It's just I'm just you know. Oh there! Oh oh, that's all you have to do. I think. I'm guessing I have to do it from the lower floor and head up there. 
<laughs> Don't think shooting the word of power is gonna help the way you want it to. Yeah, it's just I can't get it. I can't get. Okay, well, you at least know where it is. Yeah. Well, it feels like it's taunting you, and that's just mean. Yeah, I hope the dark presence doesn't show up and interrupt me. That. <laughs> Game. Alex. <laughs> This is reminding me of, you know, running around in the uh, in the police station on RE2. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just running past, you know, like the quiet area that you've cleared with all of the dead bodies. Is it not up there? That's the second floor. What if I need to head down to get to the second floor? <laughs> well, wouldn't it be the first time? No, it really wouldn't be. Maybe if but there we... is. Wait. Do a different plot element. Yes, I can still change the... No, I can't. You can't? Why not? Because I'm out of the scene. Okay, well, you're... there you go. If you go back... It can't go. No, back... but, but the, the other plot elements have this part blocked off. Oh. Unless, um, unless the muse has it open. Oh, the climax, maybe. No. The story was affecting the scene. Hello. Oh, there we go. Hello. Come on, baby. There we go. Had enough of that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This Who are is you? our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with This isn't Mulligan and Thornton, is it? See it? I don't think so. He was alone in a job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. What the heck? An in-shot case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Why do you guys have a usual place to do this? Why are y'all so nuts that this happens more than once? Okay, let's... Oh, good lord. Okay, that's not it. Oh, I hate this. I mean, like, I love this, but I also hate this. <laughs> okay, what's the other... What's the other part? Sorry, just... I'm I'm gonna head back upstairs now. Because there has to be a way to get into that... Word of power. Why is it not letting me? You know what, let's head back to mm -hmm. the ballroom. Okay. And try changing the scene there. Because we said that, you know, it kind of bled out yeah. into the rest of the... <gasps> oh. Okay, we're here. No, we're not quite there yet. Okay, there we go. Now we're here. Um, let's try Climax, maybe? Alright. Ah, that shadow's coming at you.
Okay, if this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to look up if it's possible to get to it? Not yet. Okay. I'm going to try the pre show ritual first. Okay. Right. That's the only one that we haven't done, that is. Or, no, it's one of two we haven't done. Stim, then there's Stim. Needs to be a way to open up those doors potentially. I do not want to go to the climax until I find a way to actually get that word of power. Yeah. Thank you. It's telling you where it tells me where it is, but it says like, oh, at the time of doing this, we don't know if you can find it earlier. I'm like, hello, sir. <gasps> yeah, it just says you can see this word of power looking up at the staircase. There are a gap above the western block door in the middle of the second floor. It doesn't mention anything about actually. No. That is so stupid. <laughs> mm. I want to see if it like. The plot changes shape the world around me. Devil's story is the only one where there seems to be a way into the stairwell at all, so mm -hmm. I'm going to assume that somehow you need to use that to get into it. Oh, you know what? It, maybe... No, no, that's not necessarily the case. I, I was thinking maybe there, there are different stairwells, but... Yeah, I don't think so. Just keep it, just like, keep your eyes up the entire time you're going up the stairs, just in case. Make sure you go up all of the stairs, you never know. Yeah. Well, we do go from like the first floor to the sixth floor without... Without, um, passing the full mm -hmm. stair. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. not... Yeah, it just says, while going through the hall, check for a glass panel above a word door to your left. Through it, you can snide the sneaky word. It sounds mm. like you should be able to get it through the door. Hmm. Thank you for, for helping, You're Angel. You're welcome. Although it's kind of funny. People also ask, is Alan Wake a scary game? Well, yeah, but... Uh, and yeah. I was like, hmm, yes, new horror is at once scary, cerebral, and silly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just keep looking, maybe, see if there's, like, a specific thing yeah. you need to do. Because it's weird that I haven't been able to obtain the word, even though I've been looking at it. It's like I haven't even gotten a little screen flickering. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, look through this. Yeah, found in the second floor hallway. Look at the ceiling near the door that's only blocked and not totally boarded up with wood. Look through the upper glass of the sealed door to spot it. Only blocked? Yeah, because you see how this one's like boarded up? Yeah, but the other one has wood too. But the other one is blocked only by this. Maybe there's another door that we're missing. Maybe. Maybe check YouTube, see if there's a okay, a okay. little tutorial on how to get get it. Because both of the doors are blocked. Unless. Hi, Tim. I'm looking, I'm looking. It's okay. Yeah, it points you at that door. That specific one that you're at. See? Yeah. That's it. Wait a We getting there? Are we getting somewhere? There you go! Oh my god, it was just like <laughs> not standing in the specific <laughs> Yeah. Remedy, that is a very, very much your fault. Don't worry. You got words of war. Just imagine that you're firing your guns at them for a little bit. Yeah. Um, restore back. health with flare gun. More damage with shotgun. Or increased damage up by last bullet or revolver. Uh, you know, if I'm pulling out my flare gun, it's probably like a desperate scenario. So yeah. definitely better for more health with that. All right. Let us now head back downstairs. Okay. We'll go to the safe room, and we'll leave on the... The, on the sequel hook. Yes. <laughs> we shall uh, figure out what killed the muse. Well, ne well I think we kind of know what killed the muse. Yes. We'll figure it out, yes. But we'll conclude the story of the cult and the muse, not to be confused with the poet and the muse, which is a really nice song, by the way. If any, if, you, if any of y'all are interested, like, the the old, like, the Poets of the Fall created, like, the old Gods of Asgard songs, and they are so good. The Poet and the Muse was one of the first ones, like, I actively listened to outside of YouTube, and it's so pretty. Yes. Alright, so, yes, we shall pick that up all next time! Yes, we shall continue this adventure of horror next stream. And so we thank you all for joining. We hope that you had a spooky time. Thank you, everybody, who tuned in and followed. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope to see you back soon. Yep. Yeah, see you all next time. Until then, good night, internet. Oh, no, she Let's got the video. Go. Go. Ah. <laughs> <Ow. laughs> Potassium. Ah. <laughs> I have my own pillow. Pillow fight? No, no, I gotta close the stream first. <laughs> <laughs> it would be the first time we've gone to a wacky fight on stream. Fair enough. Good night, Good night, Good night.